the Esoteric Order of Roleplayers present Horror on the Orient Express, a luxury campaign spanning the European continent, with David Larkins as the Keeper of Arcane Lore. It's like you died in a procession. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this guy, 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you fell off your horse and broke your neck. Okay. Oh. Well, I guess my Sundays are free for the next 80 weeks. Yeah. So, right, 80 weeks. Oh, my God. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, what? You're okay, welcome. Okay, so I just realized, yeah. I don't know, this is this might be bad. I'm setting up, I'm setting up expectations. Uh oh. Oh, you're going to do this now? So, because of the, okay, possibly. Okay. So we possibly, are, as in yes, I've already started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> possibly in that I, I don't know what I'm gonna say next. Um, so what I'm trying to say is, so I've been noticing that the temps Sounds are like getting. My lectures. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I going with this? <laughs> the temps are getting lower as as in the evenings, um, and we're getting up into the 50s and 40s, and so we have to think about the fact that Halloween is coming soon. Yes, we do. <laughs> And since we're already in the since we're already yes. in the <laughs> oh my god. And since we're already playing Cthulhu, yeah. Cthulhu Athon does not seem to be really oh, appropriate. Yeah. Oh. However, since I've completely fallen in love with Vampire, oh. Masquerade, oh, yeah. I was wondering if y'all would be interested in playing a vampire. I like vampire. Yeah. But it might be like a three part in the, during the day. So there might well, still be the grueling. She's, she's schedule. thinking of running three separate adventures in one day. Possibly. Girl! Or two. Or two. <laughs> Halloween. Oh, okay. Well, we'll figure out. We're going to Mexico again. They hired us to come back. Figure out. Well, we'll come up with a mutually agreeable date. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. We're not going to be here Halloween. No, we won't be here. Cool. Yeah, Yeah, because I'll be there like the weekend before and the weekend after. But it's like essentially from like Tuesday through the following Wednesday. Right. So if it's like November seventh or something. Cool. Yeah, we're not that. Like it might be like the weekend after Halloween weekend. All right. I'm down. So it would be some. What I'm envisioning. So you can think about this. I'm envisioning (laughs) a three-part thing, so there might, depending an hour and a half, maybe for each one, and then it might. It would be set um, like 1918. 1972 oh. and 2016. Oh my god, yes! Ooh. With the same vampire. With the same vampire I love that. I like that. If you're still alive, if you're oh, still alive. Awesome. Dude, but you tire me up. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, because, because you and have. Cthulhu. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, so we'll see yeah. what that. It's just a little idea. It's an idea. And no, it's, it's fantastic. fantastic. Yes, I love that. Because I, like I really it. love it. I'm supporting I'm the idea, but not pressuring you. Yeah, no, but I'm so in love with this game that I can't even tell you. It's ridiculous. And I really enjoy playing it a couple of times yeah, that I've done it. It's I fun. Yeah. It's easy. It's easy to pick up. Um, and I, anyway, so it's just an idea. Yes, so be, just an idea. Just keep that in mind. If you have no idea, like, anything about Vampire, that's okay. If you know a lot about it and you have ideas, then that's great. I just wanted to plant the seeds, and we'll see what happens. So the seeds. Seeds, right. Sown. Yes. Sowing seeds of love. <laughs> no, don't. Stop with that. <laughs> the song is so creepy. Politics of greed. <laughs> Yes, that too. Oh. Both personalities. All right, so we should start breaking these chains of love. Oh, that's oh, good. No, that's, that's good. good. That's good. Not that at all. All right, so anyway, <laughs> that's all I wanted to say. I like that song. So you see love? Well, when it came out, because uh-huh. I was a kid when it came out. It was cheap. It came out in like 92? Yeah. Tears for Fears? Yeah. I didn't realize it was that late. 
Because, you know, I associate them with the mid-80s, you know? But it was the end. It was there, right? Yeah. It was the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, it's just very repetitive. Anyway. Not like There's me. a lot to be said about it. It's a lot to be said for, for Ragas and for repetition. Anyway, so I don't know. That's just the idea because we're already playing this. And yeah, so it sounds it. wonderful. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, let's change the pace. Okay. All right. I think you'll dig it. Absolutely. No pressure. No, you'll be fine. no pressure on yourself. All That'll the pressure. Fun. No, I really love it. So I love reading so you're everything. You're going to love it too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Run for two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. And try not to fall and die. No, okay. Don't run. Good. Right. Don't run. Yeah. Yeah. Lift your feet. Yeah. Pick them up. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm just going to get into it. What's the date? The date yeah. is January first. Oh. 1923. 1923. Oh. Okay. And then I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not fishing for compliments. Okay. Did you guys see the article that I Renee read? Renee commented on it. You did. Okay. It was amazing. Did you okay. see my comments? I so did. no, oh. I didn't. Oh, it was no. like she left right before she headed oh, out. Oh, okay. All right. All right. What did you yeah. say? Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> did, did, did you, you did exactly you two plan? A, I don't remember. <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't plan the whole adventure around that photo because no. it's exactly the way you described she it. Found and it. I found after it after the adventure. I found and it after. it's Ramon Navarro. Yeah. Who is, you know, I have a bunch of pictures that I've collected. Sweet. So, so I. It's not just some random dude standing like a mental checklist of places. Wow. Yeah, like yeah, here, take a picture here, you hear whatever. So, oh, is that what you're trying to get me up on the there? I'm sorry. Like, I even remember, David, like, you were, you even posed for like a second. And, yeah, like, with like, the somehow. And, yes. the and I looked at, and the photo looks exactly like that. It's yeah. like, oh, that's did, amazing. Did, yeah, so anyway, yeah, no, I did just. Did you plan this? And I no, didn't I didn't plan it. I didn't plan it. I just was like, She's okay. in the zone right now. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. vamp- freaking vampire. Um, the so Kundalini energy is flowing. I know. Dream big. Break out your A game. I know. Yeah, so well. yeah, that's what I thought because I I just looked for pictures and I wanted to find them and thankfully I did and so I wanted to write I wanted to write an article wow. for every time well yeah. as long as I'm alive and saying I want to write an article with a picture that shows because that's my job right yeah. so that's what I'm awesome. doing so yeah. I just thought I okay good I'm glad you liked it good yeah. I want to make sure you all saw it okay yeah. good good good. Okay, that's all. I did not see it. I will see it. Okay. Yeah, just check the adventure log. The yeah, adventure log. yeah, she's, adventure log. she's doing the adventure logs now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, she's signed up for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She drew the short straw. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, no, I wanted to do that just just so that I'm it's more really active neat. in the game. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Hi, hello. What do you mean? Like this whole like s- monthly Sunday performance thing? This one like. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I had to like have the talk with my victim. I was like, so there's this thing I've done every Sunday for like three and a half years that conflicts with this time that I'm supposed to perform. And she was like, oh. Mm-hmm. It's like, so. So that's da, da, da. So that's, it's, that's, an, that's an important Jade thing that you, you <laughs> haven't know. known about for three and a half years. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still there. And she was like, oh. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, actually, the first thing we need to do is that since it is January 1st, 1923. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> no, the other thing we need to do is uh, take you guys through your experience. Uh, checks. Checks. Oh, yeah. Make sure you're saying Indeed. I love checks. Mm-hmm. Check, please. Oh, wait, I'm going to circle the date. There you go. Official time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Fun nut. All right. Woo! Damn it! Oh, wait, no! Yes! Wait, what? What? <laughs> Crap. Oh, that's so that was a little. Yes! Thank the Lord. Ha-ha. I thought it was a, a zero. Okay, then. so. Or a one in it. Yeah. Spot hidden goes up by six. Yeah. It goes up by, the, by a roll. Firearms went up uh, by roll ten. Roll of a D10. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. A cult is definitely not going to happen anytime soon. No. Can your occult even go up? Uh, if you <laughs> roll a zero, zero. Yeah. 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 Although zero, zero is always a failure. So. So, yeah, it's true. So. Yeah, I crit failed. But it, it increases your uh, your crit chance. Yeah. Range. Yeah. So. Fantastic. So you roll. Um, Actually, you want to roll under it, right? Nope. You want to fail the roll. You want to fail it and then yeah. do a d10. Yeah. And then do a d10. Yes. And it doesn't count if you roll okay. exactly. No. Right. Okay. okay. That's, that's a, uh, Darn it, my cult stays the same. The way I always remember is this, the better <laughs> oh you get gosh. at something, the harder it is. To Did you get it? Right. No, I rolled exactly the same for each of my oh. my checks. Oh, like the, here. Those are yes. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. Uh, 
One day my firearms will go up. One day. One day. <laughs> Mine went up by 10. I'm Whoa! Wow. Wow. What's your pistol at now? 65. Nice. Wow. wow. Which, you know, I'm a frail old woman. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Looks like you're going to shoot what you can get, too. Okay. That is correct. So I spot in one up quite a bit, so that's exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, Alright. <laughs> Extra delicious. Extra, extra delicious, delicious results. Indeed. Let's let's see how well it rolls now. <laughs> it may have been purged, or yeah. So. No, it's only these twenties that are cursed with me. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fifty-one. Not bad. For what? What's your fifty-one? Uh, for just doing a random roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you know, if it was a d twenty, it would be like a nineteen or a twenty, <laughs> well... depending on what game I'm playing. Right. But at this table. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Good. This table. No, but at this table we play pen dragons, so it's 1920, and any other table it's D&D, so I would roll a one or a two. Right. Mm, that is awesome. It, like, critical success on the 99 is 19. Oh, okay. Cool. That is so much margin of success. <laughs> That's very good. Yes. Excellent. So that was easy. Um, and everyone, of course, got their sanity bonuses last time. So, oh, yes, that's right. And your magic points are all back, and your hit points are back at full if you lost any hit points. Indeed. Do we roll for luck now? If you didn't last time, then yes, you should. At the end of the last session. <laughs> Why do we do that? You're going to roll if you fail your luck roll. Or, yeah, if you fail your oh. luck roll, you get 1d10 luck points. Even if, I mean, is that still based off of our oh. cap though, or is cap right. just starting? It's, we're rolling against our current, right? Current. Current luck, yeah. Okay. And then, so you get oh. 10 luck back if you fail it. So it's like sanity where our starting is not a cap. Okay, cool. I don't think uh. it's I rolled so well on that. <laughs> Well, these dice are going to the chipper. Well, no, those are, those are great. I'm, I'm going to keep hoping that I keep rolling out sevens on everything. <laughs> and you roll... Ninety sevens, yeah. Right, so we'll see it on the next episode of Will It Blend? Okay. <laughs> blend these dice! <laughs> Somehow they're not blending. <laughs> they're just bouncing around. The they keep rolling really well. Yeah. Wop wop. Every time we reset, it's always zero one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, hit points are con plus size divided by four. Do you need this? The reference? Oh no, got it already. Oh, yeah. Good. Just wanted to All sure. All right. For sure. Did that come laminated or did you let me Gandalf to me? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Boy Gandalf. Um. Did that come laminated or not? No, I laminated. Do you have, do you have a lamination sheet? I do. I dreamt of it one morning, and then when I woke up, it was at the foot of our bed. All right, then. That's great. Wow. You dreamt it into being? Yeah. That's what he's saying. It's wow. creepy. It's All right. Thanks for creeping everyone no, out. It, it, it was always there. See, he just hadn't realized it was there. It was there all the time. Because the, the inside and the outside. He just had to click his heels. The inside and the outside. But it, it can only be mundane <laughs> items. I can't dream like exciting things. Well, I mean, mundane <laughs> items is what it's at. Yeah. Yeah. Is, that, is that why I appeared in your life? Yes. Blah, blah. <laughs> no, you did not. Get the fuck out of here. We don't accept that kind I'm of job here. I'm How dare you? No, no, I'm fabulous. We are all okay. exceptional. Well, that was the joke, because I'm fabulous. Yeah. Everyone who has us is fucking lucky. <laughs> That's, true. <laughs> That's true. That's right. That is how we live. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> On that awkward note, let's move forward. Yep. So, as mentioned before, it is January 1st, 1923. Yes. All day. It is a cold and sleety day in London. Mm. Oh, yay. Isn't it just? You are all in town, you Americans, um, because you have been invited and indeed even had your uh, travel and lodging paid for. Uh, to attend the Challenger Trust Banquet Lecture. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a storied um, event. Many uh, important people have spoken at these banquet lectures. Marie oh. Curie and, yes, the sounds of London. Marie Curie and uh, Marconi spoke uh, here, as have Count von Zeppelin and Edison. Wow. Um, an asshole. 
I know, prick. <laughs> He's such a jerk. Tesla. Tesla. <laughs> Tesla. Thank God. He's not Sorry. <laughs> yeah. He's not Marconi either. That dick. Uh, <laughs> so it's the dickweed uh, banquet lecture circuit. Yes. Well, you can think that if you wish. Um, no wonder why they want us to come. They need, <laughs> yeah. they need more they need to fix their image. Yeah. Oh. oh, I thought they need more. That was a nice save, Dave. <laughs> Just pivoted, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, I love how quickly we were the judge. <laughs> no, you oh, were, no, we know nothing. You are actually there uh, because you are the the uh, sort of. Well, not not the central topics of the speech, mm-hmm. but you uh, you have all had a role to play yes. in the paper that is being presented at this banquet. Mm. Oh, one, <laughs> yes, one Professor Julius Arthur Smith, Lit D, PhD, um, heard of your experiences at Dion Fortune's uh, cottage. Yes, and uh, he is sort of a uh, well-known debunker. All right. Uh, spiritualism and uh, um, mm-hmm. hauntings and that sort of thing. Oh, um, but like Houdini, does it because he's looking for proof that this stuff actually exists. Here. Um, so he has been. Uh, well, he he met with you while you were all still in uh, Britain in the summer. Um, took statements from you. Was extremely interested in Dottie's uh, photographs. Which I developed mm-hmm. Yes, you made your photography role. Yeah. So Thank you. <laughs> I have proof. The, uh, the, the creature, or the, uh, the entity that you witnessed, mm-hmm. does show up on the film. Oh my god. Uh, however, due to glass-like nature, it's not super clear. Yeah. You know, it's not like incontrovertible evidence. Like a, a, a right. determined skeptic could be like, oh, well, that's just, you know. It's not like it 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 Swamp gas. Yeah. Right. Swamp gas. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes. The fairy photographs are solid. That's incontrovertible. Yeah, right. non-debunkable. Right. Um, but nonetheless, uh, useful for uh, Professor Smith's <laughs> work. Um, and so he's been working up a paper uh, over the last uh, five months or so. Okay. What does he look like? Uh, well, Professor Julius Smith is a heavyset Englishman. Um, he mm. is uh, pushing 60 at this point. Mm-hmm. He is famed for his uh, whiskers. Ha. Uh, they mm. give him the air of a friendly walrus. Oh boy! Oh, air of a friendly walrus. I'm writing that down. Oh, I'm writing that down. <laughs> <laughs> Friendly walrus. Sexy walrus. Sexy walrus. Friendly, (laughs) comma, sexy, in quotation marks. (laughs) Inverted commas. Inverted commas. Air quote. Our our British characters all have had um, some level of interaction with him over time. Um, He has assisted Max with some difficult translations because he has a background in archaeology and anthropology. Cool. Does Max have German as a language? He does. He does. Oh. Okay. So yes, the two of you have worked together on translating some German papers uh, on various uh, topics. Um, his specialty tends to be more Mesoamerica, but uh, you know, yep. mutual back scratching that mm-hmm. sort of thing. Um, and let's see, Lady Asquith, uh, you were both members of the Souls. Ah, During okay. that, that time, that period when the club was extant. <laughs> uh-huh. And for Padma, I actually dropped him in as an Easter egg way oh. back oh. in February of 2013. Yes. Oh, whoa! <laughs> during one of the midweek tasters. What? You. <laughs> uh, as a friend of your father's. Cool. Of course, he was a long-standing friend of the family. Quite young at that time. Of course, but uh, yes, you may remember the oh. the midweek taster that featured uh, Padma and her father going to Professor Smith's uh, country cottage, where yeah. uh, Detective Mulverhill uh, proposed to her. Yes, and right. I remember that. Oh, oh my oh. God, the proposal. Oh, oh <laughs> shit, Detective Mulverhill. Do we have that a recording? Hmm? Is that, yes. Is that recorded? No, oh, these are all, these are all the forms. Okay. I should record them though because they're not publicly available. So <laughs> I should just do a reading as like some. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, yeah, that that would be particularly awesome this balls. one. Yeah. Yeah. Particularly with this one. It's here. Oh my goodness. Oh, man. What was his first name? Oh. Uh, what was it? He was a cool guy. I remember that. He was like, he was, he was a catch. Yeah. Roster here. James. Detective Sergeant James. Roster. She still wears a locket that's under her cam to make sure that like, she couldn't save him. She yeah. Yeah. Deceased. I know. Oh, I know. Oh, my God. Assumed so deceased. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, no, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> 
she made sure of that. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> First session. Yeah. Start off good, guys. So we're at this banquet. Right. So you're, uh, you're <laughs> so we're at this banquet. <laughs> uh, trying to stay on the track because of time. Of course, of course. Mm. So uh, uh, as for Vance and, and Dottie, you made uh, Professor Smith's acquaintance for the first time last well, we were few months with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. He's also well known for his disgusting preferences in tobaccos. Oh, disgusting. Uh, disgusting. Yes. Oh, okay. His, his favorite is a foul obsidian hued Balkan Sobranier. That was so. pretty popular. Mm hmm. Yes. What makes it disgusting? It just it's it's stinky? Just really smell oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it stings the nostrils. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> All right. It's, it's like burning garbage. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, yes. Oh, my God. Burning things. garbage. Yes. Mm. But um, he's always well appreciated for his erudite after dinner stories okay. and his hearty laugh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. So, this is a banquet lecture. Is it a dinner? Mm-hmm. It's like a dinner. Yes, it is, is it it's a formal affair. Formal. All right. Okay. All right. So, where are we? <laughs> all right. well, where are here we? we? Go. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, if you want to be there on assignment, you can be. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm following this guy. Adventures well, your 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 uh, story wrapped up in the summer, right? Well, you're, you're just doing more adventures in leisure. Well, yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you can like, oh, we, here we are again, then, you know, yeah. I'm going to do another piece yeah, on you. Yeah, yeah, I might as well. Yeah. Do you, unless you don't want me to. No, 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 okay. I just finished wrapping right. So you're wearing a tuxedo? <laughs> <laughs> it only took my agent about two months to put out the brush fire you started with that last <laughs> story, so. That last story was phenomenal. No, it was good. Was it good? I just want to put each other. I know, like, what do you mean? Actually, do you have a journalism skill or something to that um, effect? Um, I have, um, I have photography. Right. Uh, why don't you make a, an English roll then? Just a language. Uh, language? Mm-hmm. The language is 80. So, well, and I rolled an 18, which is a ooh, um, really good, almost, almost extreme, a, almost extreme well, that's but not darn good. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it was a good story, good good uh, series actually, and um, it helped, you know. Help land you my next picture. Help land you your next picture. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let's okay. see you guys have a report out. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. Hopefully. I mean, you saved my life, so. That's true. Ooh, that's that us. whole thing. All right, so we're wearing a tuxedo. Oh. So are we at this banquet? I don't uh, mean to jump. I don't mean to push it unless. No, no, there. please, that's fine. That's okay, fine. so go stand over there, like by the stairs, <laughs> and you're wearing your tuxedo, and I'll take a picture. Sure. Okay. 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 One arm on. I'm looking yeah. forward to just the next looking, uh, just article. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Thank you. I have to take out a subscription to Collier's magazine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. I will. Okay. <laughs> Point of fact. Um. <laughs> all right. So. So we're there. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Um. Any other notes in terms of your uh, department appearance? Any plus ones you're bringing? Anything like that? I have my usual <coughs> my apprentice slash you know. Uh, Batman. Batman with yeah. Robin. Yes. <laughs> I have Robin with me. <laughs> yeah. He's my secretary slash protege. Secretary. Yes. Yes. Secretary slash protege. Assistant. assistant. A personal assistant. That's a good one. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. My manservant. So, yes. Exactly. Underling. Okay. Your manuensis. <laughs> also, <laughs> I've marked in my last thing that I was learning Chinese, apparently. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Should I roll yeah. to learn Chinese? It's awesome. <laughs> mm. Do you Turkish, by the way? No. I, I, I have Hindi. Just it's on the back of the silver knee box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just browsing the Turkish delight. Mm-hmm. Uh, box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you know? That repeats. But that's something. Oh. <laughs> um, 1d10 points in a skill per four months of game time. So, yeah, go ahead and add 1d10 to your Chinese. I got six. Yay! Yeah. 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 Six Chinese. It's tremendous. It's, it's more than I had, I'll say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of funny because if you do a language unit you know, on Duolingo, you know that online language it. Yes. thing, yes. it actually says you are five percent fluent. You are eight percent fluent. Oh, really? Does it make so money? Like, oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's really nice. Roll against that. Um, anyway, so, all right. Um, so you're not on the city street anymore. But yes, please, <laughs> by all means. Lady Cynthia is not going to come with her husband. He's <gasps> well, he's he's at home <gasps> being. Uh, Emo? Yeah, okay. he's that guy. Yeah, he's, he's got PTSD pretty bad. Oh, that's right. So, oh, yeah. Kind of a loud stupid. noises, lots of crowds that he doesn't yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. But could she go with uh, 
uh, George Onions? Maybe? Sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 Out of D. H. Lawrence, but. <laughs> he yeah. might draw way too much attention to himself, yeah. that cat. <laughs> you bitch, I love you. <laughs> All right, any other notes? No, no sir. No. Hmm. All right, so, um, <clears throat> so uh, yes, the, uh, the lecture precedes the dinner. And um, as noted, Dr. Julius Smith is um, taking the podium. He has a uh, slide projector set up. Oh, wow. <clears throat> and um, and uh, yeah, he begins giving his talk. Um, his, uh, his speech is uh, droll, entertaining, and precise. Um, he, uh, he begins it by going through a list of the many uh, charlatans and pretenders that he has exposed, showing slide examples of faked photography. This is how he starts every talk. <laughs> <laughs> it gets longer every yeah, time. Right. <laughs> exactly. It's what we call street cred. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like yes. announcing your lineage before a battle. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> but he's just showing examples of faked spirit photography. Um, you know, um, ectoplasmic uh, manifestations and that sort of thing. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> and then gets into uh, talking about your case. Um, you better not be disparaging my photography. <laughs> 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 Look at this obviously fake photo. I know. I feel like, I feel like what the hell is somebody talked about? I'm right here. Come yeah. on, right here. Enjoying oh, my steak. Yeah, <laughs> enjoying my steak. Um, Mouthful. How, yeah. how dare you? <laughs> I need more horseradish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're, you're all sitting at your little uh, circular uh, linen covered candlelit table as they're kind of bringing the, the food out during the lecture, you know. Mm -hmm. So are we all at the same table? Yes, like, you're all seated oh, nice. at one table. Cool, so, yay! Yeah. Good to yeah. see you all yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> if, if glass crabs can't bring us together, I don't know what will. Yeah, glass crabs. Mm -hmm. Glass space crabs. Yeah, specifically. <laughs> all right. yeah let's not. Sauntering mm. space crabs. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so we're enjoying ourselves. Yep, and, and you've noted, you know, some other luminaries and oh. attendants. Yates is there. Um, oh. <laughs> that uh -oh. guy. <laughs> mm. um, several of your uh, lovely Asquith circle are in attendance. Nice. You know. As they um, are every year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're the what? You're stationary and they just. Paul from India. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Max, you note a few, you know, people from archaeological field or nice. people writing in that field. I um, guess her dad would be here too, actually. The Earl. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 There's definitely some peerage in attendance. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also some some low characters. For example, uh, Max recognizes the non-academic author Jackson Elias, who writes <gasps> on a series of uh, death cults and that sort of thing. <laughs> Anthro nerd. Anthro nerd, yes, exactly. <laughs> nice. um, uh, Dottie, you you spot the uh, publisher of a local rag called The Scoop, <gasps> an Irishman named Mickey Mahoney. <laughs> Oof. Um, they're kind of a notorious tabloid. Yeah. And, uh, Right. Behind the ferns. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the ferns, yeah. <laughs> it's not even necessary. Someone offers them the hors d'oeuvres from back there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I know Mickey. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he's, he's actually tried to get you to do some assignments for the scoop uh, last summer while you were in London. Oh, it's no. so beneath you. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, sometimes it got me with cash. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was I was okay, so I could ref I could turn it down. Because mm -hmm. they're yeah. just they're terrible. They're just so cruel and needlessly they just lie and it's just embarrassing. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're always publishing publishing uh, you know things about the and it's world fake family scandals. And, yeah, it's right. not even real scandals. Mm -hmm. Give me the real scandals. I love that. Not even real scandals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just whipping it up. Yeah. So, uh, so Smith is in full flow at this point, and he's, mm -hmm. he's talking about um, categories of repetitious phenomena uh, that offer no simple elucidation. Yeah. The poltergeist, <coughs> the traveler who suddenly finds himself dozens or thousands of miles or years from where he stood moments before, and the haunting. <coughs> and he says, my talk tonight concerns the last. I say haunting and not ghost or spirit, because alone, 
of such epi phenomena. Hunters can be building, lanterns, coaches and fours, swords and so on, as well as men, women, dogs, bears, processions, even armies. Worldwide, the store of casual anecdote concerning hauntings is enormous. Tonight, however, we speak of a haunted mirror. And at that, one of his assistants wheels. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, shit. Choke a little bit off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a bit tame. Patty, patty you on the, on the back. It's okay, it's okay. Green beans go flying. Blood staining from my table. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Two last horse radish. He's fine. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> of course I have my gun. Some water. Some water. Oh my God. For the love of God. <laughs> so yes. Yeah. So he he proceeds to give the history of uh, of this mirror and of Arthur Jandis, um, who uh, sadly, Professor Smith notes, has been confined to an asylum in Surrey. Oh, he survived. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, he shot himself. Like, yeah, I follow him. Bloody hell. This is my fault. And um, and then and then uh, gets into Dottie's photographs and speaks of strange creatures emanating from the mirror uh, on Which this we particular can all to. solstice night last is year. Is Dion here? Yes, she is. Okay. Oh. Where is she sitting? Yeah. Uh, she is uh, at a, an adjacent table. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Giving her furtive glances. Huh. Yeah. Is she reacting she, to yeah. this? Really she she weird. looked she looked a little pale in the mirror. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sort of clutched her crucifix. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna oh. save you, baby. I'm writing that down too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. So. Um, but yeah. So he he, he and then he, and then he kind of gets into like kind of the scientific breakdown of of the nature of these apparitions, how they seem to be able to move through solid matter. Uh, you know, and and and, and, yeah, so and emanate from from things such as mirrors. All right. Um, and um, yeah. So uh, and then you know, kind of analyzes the photograph, showing how mm-hmm. this thing is like kind of seems to be in the three dimensional space of the room. And of course, a very hurried photograph, like Robert Kappa style yeah. day. Yeah. You know, like kind of a little blurred, but you can yeah. still make out images and how, you know, notice how the thing is, is rushing past the bed curtains, but not actually disturbing them, and that kind of thing, you know. And, and yet, clearly, is also reflecting the light from, you know, so, so you kind of like, with a, with a solemn nod to your table, says, you know, if this is the work of a forgery, it is uh, evincing a level of, of te- technological mastery that uh, none so far has shown uh, in the entire world. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> so even if you're a faker, you're, you're really good. You're, like, you're the best yeah. in the world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, drink, your my drink. <laughs> <laughs> so he concludes the talk by saying that <clears throat> in the past 30 years, science has begun to learn about that which cannot be seen or normally sensed, and that some behavior on the atomic level is impossible in the greater world. He, he has come to think that hauntings offer clues to so far indefinable ways of arriving at or opening away into other dimensions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, it is my belief that such hauntings represent clues concerning a natural universe much larger and much stranger than we imagine. The walls of what we perceive as normality have a subtle flexibility. The spectral hauntings I have discussed represent attempts, perhaps random, <coughs> perhaps purposeful, certainly unsuccessful, to return to this time and space by elements of it somehow removed. If we are energetic and not a little lucky in our observations, students of paraphysicality may one day be able to move up and down time, or to travel globally with minor efforts, or to perceive that which at present lies completely beyond our senses. What waits beyond remains the supreme question which, for the present, must answer for himself. Mm. Yay. Yay. <laughs> yes, flight round applause. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. So the uh, the house lights are brought up as uh, as the last course is cleared from your tables, <clears throat> and uh, you know everyone's going up to shake hands and congratulate Professor Smith. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go up and mm-hmm. you know just. Say hi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, is he following along? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. My buddy. So has he okay. me- yeah. So anyway, so um. Yeah. So you wait your turn and then yeah. kind of you know get in and oh, so glad you could all make it. Good to see all of you. It's a yes, very good lecture. Good to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it wouldn't have been possible without your efforts. So. <laughs> well. Cheers. Oh.
Oh, no. And he's like, he's like, oh, no. Pipe. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> smoke is just billowing out. Whoa, that's ah. strong. Yes. Yeah. That's an odor. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so do you think that this actually happened? I mean, or not? I'm, uh, I'm inclined to believe so, yes. Yeah, it's based on my studies so far. It's quite exciting. Quite exciting. Yeah. Cool. Excellent talk. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lady Asquith. Um, but I have a question. So yes, you please. didn't really address why you brought this thing here. <laughs> oh, a mirror. Yes. yes. Just as a prop? <laughs> Just is it really for dramatic quick, effect? The mirror, like it's all red, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's this old mirror. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wanted to, uh, you know, have a, have a bit of a visual aid, uh, you know, this thing I'd be talking about, you know. Right. Yes. I see. That's pretty dangerous. Well, I suppose so, although Miss Dashiell, uh, you described to me the, the manner in which you uh, say that you transcended through the mirror's surface, and uh, neither I nor any others I have asked been able to replicate that. Oh. Wow. Well. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Knife. No, yeah, exactly. Uh, and I'm out again. Yeah, well, we've got the we have the steak dinner, so just yeah, go over the tables, clean off the knife. <laughs> See if the mirror can smell the steak on <laughs> It responds. <laughs> yes. Ask for a very rare oh, steak yeah. and just yeah. take that. Yeah, and I mean, go. how else were we having our steak? <laughs> very rare. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Might so you brought it. Steak you, you brought it over. I mean. Who's handling this mirror? Like oh well, we uh, we we uh, <clears throat> after uh, Mr. Jandis was sadly uh, declared insane, a uh, uh, misfortune, mm. uh, bequeathed it to uh, the collection at the uh, University of London, where I teach. Mm. Where is she? Where is this woman? <laughs> <laughs> she's behind us. Is she? <laughs> uh, well, she's nearby, so he he kind of waves her over. Uh -huh. Misfortune. So she comes over. Okay. And... So what were you thinking in donating this to the university? Well, I just thought that uh, it needed to be in, in capable hands. How they, capable is it? Yeah, <laughs> parading it around. Yeah, I'd public. rather it, I'd rather it be in, a, in in Professor Smith's uh, uh, hands than uh, sold at some uh, junk shop. Shouldn't we just destroy it? I was just no. about to, well, I was just about not. to pick up a pitcher of water. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about go to go max, go max, throw it at the mirror. <laughs> And I'm saying to Dr. Smith, you have your photos, you'll have nothing more. Ooh! Whoa! Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Wow! Alright. Uh -huh. Very good. Like so uh, so you pick up a, a ewer and uh, you pitch it at and the pitch offending. The pitcher. Yes. <gasps> okay. Oh so you, you throw it at the mirror and it just bounces right off. Right off! Yeah. Does it hit me? <laughs> make a luck roll. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone make luck rolls? It had to be funny. Yeah. It hit somebody. Funny. Trying to make a scene. Oh no, I made my love roll. All right. Yeah, and no, it just bounces off. Dang it! Splashes on something. Right off the reflection. Strangely, off didn't the crack. Mirror. Yeah, yeah. It, didn't, it must well, be destroyed. It's a, a it thicker is quite glass. Thick, isn't it? It's, it's like three, three inches. inches yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a fancy <laughs> Three inches thick. We must destroy the mirror <laughs> to protect well, this you know, planet. We don't have any tools like to destroy. It. So we can count all so, of the well, yeah. fantastically occult material. In so, this realm of the next. Um, mm -hmm. So yes, Max is, is freaking out. Padma is intellectualizing it, and mm -hmm. um, and of course everyone in the room. The, the room's gone completely silent. Yeah. You know the. Uh, <laughs> I'll never get in mind. The, well, uh, the chamber orchestra <laughs> has ceased their music. I'm picturing the pitcher bouncing off and then smashing into like. Oh, this is a pewter pitcher. Oh, it's a pewter. So it just goes clang, 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 oh, clang. Okay. You know, it's water. Goes and I, my my exclamation hangs in the air. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Impotent. Yeah. Uh, I love it. You can uh, all make spot hidden rolls. Yeah. yeah. Oh! I did it. I did it. I do not. I rolled a three. Wow! I just went away from a difficult success. Oh. All right, those of you who made it, check it. And um, who all made it? Me. Nope. Super success. Three. Three successes. Mm -hmm. okay. The best of successes. But, um, yeah. Still Draft surprised. Ultra, ultra, ultra success. <laughs> ultra success. Yes. It's nice. All ultra right. Super. So um, Dottie and Padma, uh, you both note Mickey Mahoney. Uh, you know, <gasps> excitedly. Oh, damn it. Dude. Yeah. So he's coming up. Uh, he's he's just he's just right. He's behind his fern. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm basically. gonna go over. I'm gonna go talk to him. <laughs> okay. 
wearing a burn. Matt, <laughs> <Matt, laughs> <burn head. laughs> uh, Matt, you note a, um, a man of middle years with a um, mustache bushy enough that you might classify as foreign. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> watching you very intently, and you kind of make eye contact with him, mm-hmm. and then he kind of touches his fingers to his forehead and, and slips out of the side door. Oh! Okay. <laughs> He's so much dirt. <laughs> I'm going to take off after him. <laughs> well, uh, like, a couple, lose him? You, you, made, you made your scene, so a couple of the, uh, oh, you know, yeah. a couple of guys to get away from, the, uh, from the society have mm-hmm. sort of sidled up to you and said, yeah, now Mr. Mellon, uh, why don't we step out into the smoking parlor? All right. You seem to think this is some kind of a game! Oh man. Wow. Oh, <laughs> love it. Mustaches. Mustaches are love going! Flutter. Yeah, a flutter. Mustache flutter. So, way. Mickey. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Miss Gale. Yeah, how, what's going on here? Just doing a reporter's job. <laughs> so, what have you found out so far? <laughs> well, I found out there's quite a little scene from your friend. You want to give me a statement on his behalf? That's for him to give you, not me. What's his name? I'm not telling you. <gasps> I'll find it out soon enough. Of course you will. You'll make or you'll make it up. You know we can go fifty-fifty on this if you want to help me. Out. <coughs> I don't need your assistance. You see, you see in his notebook he's written, you know, ugly scene at Challenger Lecture. <laughs> uh, yeah. Potential headline. Oh, there's nothing else I can do. Um, I anyway, can't run. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> Trip him. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> punch him in the face. Um. Yeah, yeah, so let me, can I try to, can I try to grab his notebook? Push him down, son. <laughs> <laughs> can I try to grab his notebook? <laughs> yeah, you can try to grab his notebook. <laughs> wow! Uh, Lady Askwood and I are just standing around with the muse. Yeah. Like, uh... Pour champagne, Lady Askwood. <laughs> George, do you give me another glass of wine? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll need a dex roll from you. Uh, oh, let's see, oh, so... Yeah. Oh, you're you... really gonna go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, you need to succeed at a hard difficulty. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow, no. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you make your grab for it, and he's just easily like, you know, like, no, no, no. <laughs> so he, right. he puts it in his pocket and just, you know, doffs his, his cap to you and uh, oh, saunters out. All right, whatever. whatever. Okay. Oh well. Yeah. So the mirror is intact. <laughs> yep. Max was taken off to just yep. be calmed down. Mm-hmm. And we're all there, you know, seeing this. Like, yeah. what do we do? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's really nothing we can do. I guess if they think that it's in safe hands, then. Yeah. Whatever happened to Fido? Do we know? We shot him to pieces. Yeah. yeah what about into his shorts? And then he, he like evaporated. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. I took a picture of the sharks, though. Right. You did. That's what we were Which were watching. among the exhibits. But it probably looked weird, like... Exactly. Just like yeah. Fall in the chandelier. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, um, well, I guess that was, yeah. I got nothing else here. Mm-hmm. Um, All right. <laughs> oh, hi. So, um, <laughs> yeah, they, they don't press charges. Oh. for the public disturbance. Good. <clears throat> yeah, okay. nothing was broken. No damage. Just right. a slightly <laughs> dense in water pitcher. Oh, <laughs> right, yeah. So, um, while you guys were dining, um, might, might you have made plans to meet up at some point? Before oh. uh, Vance and Dottie had to uh, head back to America? Well, I do have a beautiful estate here. Oh, and yeah. I'm sure I invited everyone over for tea. Oh, yes. I know, that's nice. Indeed, I am between projects again. Okay. Yes, mm-hmm. hospitality is the, the height of oh. civilization. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So, uh, what day? This was uh, the first, or no, this was the third, actually. Oh, was this the third? Uh, lecture oh, for okay. Oh. Well. Gotta be specific with my date. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that was on the third, which would have been Thursday, I believe. Mm-hmm. No, it's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. <coughs> right, right. Although Wednesday. I'm sure Thursday lunch would be lovely. Thursday lunch. Mm-hmm. Alright, so that well, would be the fifth? Uh, the fourth. Fourth. Oh, the very fourth. next day. Oh, the next yeah. day. Okay. So, thank you. Thursday. News in the, uh, in the papers that morning is that the mark um, keeps sliding in Germany. One dollar now equals, or uh, one pound now equals 7,260 <laughs> German marks. Oh my. Yep. Oof. Whoa. Uh, there's a small item, uh, in the scoop, uh, concerning the, uh, the dust up at the Challenger lecture, as, as, uh, Nothing Mahoney bad happened. Oh, sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is uh, Dorothy Gale mentioned? 
No, only only Max yes. Malwan. Okay. Mentioned by name. Mm-hmm. His Vance's photo somewhere in the <laughs> paper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh well, that's. I mean, I don't know. Are you? Do you want to? Submit anything to the local papers? Not yet. I mean, oh, okay. or are you just, just like, working it up for a I'm, I'm working it up for an article. Well, of course not. Oh. There's, there's no picture in the scoop. He was just writing. Yeah, he was just yeah. writing. Yeah. yeah. What's uh, Malawan's credit rating? Uh, oh, 40. Ah, oh. You're okay. <laughs> it doesn't look like credit. credit rating, and you know. Yeah, you, you know, start taking oh. it. Yeah. Oh. Right. Mm. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just in case. Put on the down low. <laughs> well then. <laughs> mm. All right, so we go to lunch at Padma's. Lunch at Padma's. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a palace. Mm-hmm. It is. It's not a palace. It's beautiful. Yeah, no, is it in Kensington? Stunning. I forget. It's uh, that's this is, uh, Primrose Hill, which is right somewhere. Your North special place. Yeah, it is. And I don't know if it'll be down there. If I remember correctly. I'm trying to remember where essentially it was. You said it was on the Primrose Hill? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's like up in the, this part of London somewhere. I don't remember exactly where it came from, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I knew it came from <coughs> before, though. Yeah. So who else is there? Is it just us that we're invited? Or? Of course. It's yeah. a private lunch. Room. Okay. Mm-hmm. The friends now we have a little more. Yeah. What about uh, you can more. show us like Dr. your collection Smith. too. Doctor Sh- Professor Smith. Yeah. Professor's doctor. I mean. No. No. Uh, we we saw him last night. <laughs> this is a social affair. All right. <laughs> this is for again the sake of hospitality. At which point I will beg your forgiveness for possibly destroying a valuable artifact. However, my well, sense of duty compelled me. The human mm-hmm. spirit does compel us to behave in strongly felt ways. Mm-hmm. And I do not, do not think badly of you for reacting strongly. And it was quite frightening seeing that again. I agree. A, yeah, I agree. <clears throat> an, unusual, an unusual situation, to be sure. Like so. Oh, there it is. It's right there. It's by Regent's Park. It should Ooh. definitely oh, yes. be destroyed. Yes. yes. And I don't know why they're elsewhere. persisting in maintaining it there. I feel very uneasy. <clears throat> and I know, Padma, you mentioned there are multiple things in the world that are just as dangerous, if not more so, that are floating around. But it's just very uneasy to know that that is there and they're just treating it so lightly. Like, Certainly. I like will say, however... Mm. Mm. The fact that its whereabouts are known, mm-hmm. that is of a comfort, True. rather than having it lost mm-hmm. to the winds. God knows where, and God knows whose hands. At least these True. imbeciles have no idea what they're dealing with, and thus no idea how to use it. And that I is, as I said, a comfort. Mm. I agree. These cucumber sandwiches are delightful. <laughs> <laughs> we make mm. the cream cheese fresh oh. ourselves. <laughs> On site. Any New Year's resolutions, anyone? Um, no. <laughs> New Year's resolutions. <laughs> Trying to kick my opium addiction. <laughs> oh, That's not true. That's no. Not true. No. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I think you kicked it a while back. No, I, no, I didn't. Oh, you're she still, has it. Oh, yeah. You're still, on, you're still on that dragon. It was worse than ever. Okay. Oh. The our last. No. Oh, oh that's please. right. Yes. Crowd to pass this around. This is where the Challenger banquet lecture was held. Hmm. Kensington, that's why I have Kensington on mine. It's the Imperial Institute. New Year's resolution. What about you, Lady Asmith? Do you have. Uh, hmm. I'd love yeah, to travel. I'm trying more. to reconnect with mm. friends, especially my writer friends. Mm. That's something I was curious about with Padma. Does her fear of the sea extend to airplane travel over the open water? Ooh. Now that we're in a new century. You know, I honestly feel that it would. Mm-hmm. I feel that ground travel is really what she's about. Um, like, earthing feeling. Because flying over the open ocean, one may still be swallowed up. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. It seems worse. Yeah. yeah. Just being okay. aboard a capsizing ship, rocking in northern waters, like, no, it's not quite as bad. <laughs> Turbulence, though, is a bitch. Padman's house. Oh. Yay. Yay. It's not a palace. That is a palace. It's a nice little townhouse. The Pell Great yeah. Estate. Oh, that's uh, a palace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to palace it up, we'll yeah, go out Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. It's only to tell you about weird things happening in a house. 
Oh. Perhaps we should have a seance. Four flowers? At the Pilgrim so. Estate? Okay. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Dear God. I know this should get out alive. No. Yeah. Oh, very good. So, yeah, I, uh... <laughs> 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 what? Oh, we got brown sugar heroin. What? what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not a drug dealer. Probably. Maybe no. Maybe I just am. Just I no, gotta make a little bit on the side. That's right. You can't just deal in antiquities. Mm. <laughs> Things have drawers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all the hidden compartments and all the books. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, so, uh, so yes, it's, you know, first week of January, it's cold, it's, you know, intermittently uh, freezing rain and sleet and occasional mm. snow. Mm. And, um... It's just lovely. Yeah, so, I don't know, how long are Vance and Dottie staying in, in country? Hmm. Um, uh, I don't know, not very long. I'd say until, uh... I was planning on spending January here, but... Oh, yeah, right. no, it's just... Interesting. I have friends here. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. Um, all right, very good. So, life goes on. Much the same way as it always has. Uh, Thursday turns into Friday, hmm. as usually happens in the world. Mm-hmm. And Friday then into Saturday. Let's see, some other news of the world oh. going on. Oh, indeed. Um, ooh, a French expedition crossing the Sahara. Triumphant arrival in Timbuktu. Oh, wow. Cool. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, and then on Saturday, a, uh, a most peculiar uh, announcement, or uh, headline, rather. Um, bearing the uh, distinct headline, Man Dies Three Times in One Night. Okay. Is this from the yeah. story? Yeah. The, <laughs> it's not the tabloid. It's not the scoop. Yeah, this is in the Times. What? It's Whoa. also being carried in the scoop. Uh, of course. The yeah. tone is different, obviously. <laughs> well, do say. What happened? Three bodies in hotel. <gasps> Each man carries same identity. Hmm. But it Curious. Three slain men were discovered last night in a London hotel, each bearing positive identification as Mr. Mehmet Macriot of Islington. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Each had been stabbed through the heart. Oh, wow. Maids at the Chelsea Arms Hotel discovered the remains. The room is also registered in the name of Mr. Macriot. I'm going to invite everyone over to my townhouse for dinner. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay. Okay. We can discuss this. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, that would be good. Bonafide papers identify the trio as one man, the Mr. Mark, Mark Macriot, who is a Turkish antique and art dealer. Doing business in the city. Indeed, Padma recognizes the name. Oh, wow. He runs the Crescent Treasury. Well, he's too. Uh, It's running itself. Zing. Um, (laughs) The victims bear superficial resemblances, and each had cast as Mr. Macriot since independently arriving in London three years ago. Wow. Confusingly, the real Mr. Macriot, or at least the man described by neighboring shopkeepers of Mr. Macriot, cannot be found. Police request that he come forth. Passports of these Turkish nationals record independent worldwide travels for each man over the past three years. Inspector uh, Bream of Scotland Yard is at a loss to describe the meaning of this bizarre mystery, but is eager <coughs> to convince, converse with any other Mehmet Macriots still living. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. Also a spot hidden world from everybody. Whoa! Ah! What's that? Mm-hmm. Oh, I just I failed. I, failed. Mm-hmm. Uh, I made it. Great. Yeah, so Lady really. Cynthia and Dottie, you both spot a piece since you're you're both of the sort who no doubt read every page of paper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You both spot something yeah. buried a little further back. Pass that on down. Yeah. And read it into the record, if you will. Oh, go for it. Oh, okay. Uh, professor's home burns. It's underlined. <laughs> it's underlined, sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's well done. Fears well done. for you. Fears for his safety. Professor Julius Arthur Smith, a figure well known in academia, was sought today following the burning of his St. John's or St. June's Woods mm-hmm. home under mysterious circumstances. Can I take turns? Yeah. Missing also is Dr. Smith's manservant, one James Beddoes. <gasps> Witnesses saw a man resembling Beddoes run from the house just before the fire broke out. Oh. 
Anyone oh, knowing the whereabouts of Dr. Gee. Smith or Beddoes is requested to contact Detective Sergeant Rigby at Scotland Yard's Arson Division. What the fuck? Yeah, Beddoes. So, Beddoes ran away. Mm-hmm. Dr. Smith's house was burnt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. And he died. Did he die? He or- did die. No, it says he fears their life. Yeah. Oh, oh. No, the man servant. Yes, he's missing. Everybody's missing. Everybody's <laughs> missing. They don't what know the, the body. They don't know the body. Yeah. Does it start raining? She's frightened. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That's a bit ironic. <laughs> oh, by the bear, here is an envelope to keep. What? 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 Oh, and hands oh that's cool. Oh. Yes. All right. So we're all at my place? <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. (laughs) So we are, um, that is horrible news. Um, Is there any way we can, uh, oh, I don't know. So Cynthia will introduce her husband, Herbert. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. But he says that he must bow out. Oh, no, I was waiting for a private word. Oh, Oh, well. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a point, maybe. (laughs) I guess he doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. He's not a very sociable person in real life. He, I mean, yeah, yeah, it was very reclusive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indeed. All right. Well, I this mean, is this is horrible. What happened to yes. Professor Smith? Yes. yes. Well, what's that? Yeah. And then I hear about it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. uh, Shocking. Yes, as yes. you can see, the the man dies three times in one night. Headline is all is all mm-hmm. the news. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Big. Big. Uh, Interesting day. Mm-hmm. So. Do we think that he might have still had the mirror in his home? Well, it was possession of the university. And but I he was touring with us. Yeah, he was. He wasn't <coughs> touring. Mm. There was a of independent pleasure. investigating. Yeah. yeah. It's maybe possible that he just had it. Well, he might be in the ruins right now. I would say it's the only thing that survived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just sitting perfectly centered. Right. Yeah, just all these still ashes. standing up. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> Mm-mm. Like two thousand one, in space. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> just like yeah, exactly. <laughs> Since it was in possession of the university, <laughs> and they should have been responsible for its transportation mm-hmm. there and back, I imagine we would be able to contact the university to confirm mm-hmm. its conveyance. If they do not yep. have it on this premises, then I certainly believe we should investigate. Huh. Is it still working hours? No, it's Saturday, right? Yes. Oh, so we can't just it's rain. It's Saturday, Saturday, and the weather is terrible. There's an yeah. intern there. We all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's Seriously. somebody. Yeah. Grad underling. Yeah, exactly. Soup in a corner. <laughs> Sitting <laughs> on the radiator. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Does that you or that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. So I think, um, <laughs> so I think ultimately, <laughs> like, we need to. Well, we can't really talk to anybody until... You really think there's somebody there? The university. Mm-hmm. You could try calling. Uh, why not? Yeah, sure. There'll be a try. porter. A porter will be there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have Dr. Smith's number. So All right. Just ring I'm worried about him. I think his, yeah. I don't think his phone sure is working. Phone is, uh, yeah, because of the fire. His, his no, the receptionist. Oh, oh, you mean oh. his office. Yeah. Oh, oh you okay. are the smart. department number. Yes. Nice. Yes. yes. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He might be staying there right yes, now. Yes, we all understood. That's exactly what you meant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're completely on board with this. Mm-hmm. Of course. <laughs> all right. We can put in some calls. Uh, all right. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. Um, is your is your phone brought out on a silver platter? Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. Oh my god, I love it. You have like, like sterling yeah. silver, yeah. like yeah. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, and and your man dials it for you, right. and, then, and then hands you the receiver. Yes. Wow. Actually, no. He probably he probably call the receptionist and say, "I have the in the ass with on yes. the line." Yeah. He's the old, and then he hands you the receiver. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, so yeah, you get you get the uh, the grad student who's working the front desk on the Saturday. Okay. Hello! <laughs> mm. uh, yes, Lady Asquith, how can I be of assistance? Yes, so um, I have a few questions. First, is there any chance you may have seen uh, Professor Smith? No, around? sadly no. The police have been around. It's it's a terrible scandal. We're all quite, uh, we're all quite broken. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you are. Mm-hmm. Um, I also have a question about his... Uh, um, the mirror that he was. Oh yes, that was the subject the of many of his mm-hmm. talks. Yes, yes exactly. Yes, uh, yes that's. Uh, I, I actually uh, helped 
convey that back <gasps> here, on, here on campus. Oh, great. Is the it just being held at the apar- uh, apartment? The department there, or? Uh, yes, it's down in the basement. Ah, oh, okay. Well, mm-hmm. thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Scuttling over the water. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I went dead. Oh, well. Oh, well. Strange. Yeah, it was terrible weather outside and the lions yeah. probably went down. Yeah. yeah. It's a pole, probably drawn. Yeah. 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 Makes yeah. the most sense. <laughs> um, so, uh, so as you're ringing off um, your, uh, one of your other. Uh, Thank you, Charles. Yes. <laughs> so one of your other, other many servants uh, comes in, and he has a uh, another little silver platter for you. And this Whoa. has this has uh, an envelope. Just silver. We like to live simply. Yes. yes. Of course. Please. Not be Please. I appreciate your style. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Very tasty. Um, yeah. So it's just it's a it's a letter. Apparently, somebody you know came by front door. Oh. And dropped this for you. Just now? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, ma'am. It was a, a taxi driver. A taxi driver? Is he still there? Uh, I believe he is driven off. Oh, uh, okay. Well, thank you. Thanks. The letter? Open mm-hmm. the letter? Right. So you notice it's uh, sealed. It has a wax seal on it. Oh, oh okay. Well, I carefully... Uh, oh, Dave. Are we getting something? You're not getting a wax seal, but you're about to get something. Oh, yeah. yeah. I try to. She tries to preserve the seal though with the uh, letter opener. Okay. I'm sure you're practicing yeah. this right now. Yeah, you just kind of pop well, it. Oh no, she doesn't break it though. Usually yeah. you would yeah, break no, it. She tries to just pop the seal. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So cool. just, just take up the blade and mm. there you go. Yeah. Right underneath. Yeah. No, she's got a practice wrist. I bet. Oh, of course. <laughs> you get hey, oh. seals all the time. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. 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 Hey, oh. 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 <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> All right, so um, anyway, within is a calling card. Oh, okay. Uh, bearing name, oh. Professor J.A. Smith. Oh! <laughs> okay, she, she turns completely white. Uh-huh. I don't know if anyone notices when she's reading this. Did you get any whiter? Yeah. Oh, even whiter. <laughs> Mushroom. She's on the mushroom. Yeah, oh, no. it's like gone gray. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Oh. Gray white. Oh. Um, and, uh, What's wrong, Lady Cynthia? Let me ask you. And I just hand it to you without. Okay, so I look at it. Please. Hey, 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 I smell like ridiculous. Oh yeah. Okay, so I look at the card. Okay. And see that it's from Professor J. A. Smith. It has an address in St. John's Wood, but another address has been written on it. Uh, for some uh, street in Cheapside, which is, yeah. as the name implies, not a rather upper class part of town. Oh. Okay. Uh, and then there's something written on the back. <clears throat> oh. Da, da, da. <gasps> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> okay. Oh dear, are you all right? I'm fine. I just need to, to step out for a few minutes. Oh. You all stay here. Uh huh. All right. I like some of this. You should probably just put hand out in that envelope, like immediately. You gave it to us. Just fill it to the brim. Did he make accordions out? Yeah. Like six months from now, it's just gonna be like this cabbage of paper coming yeah, out. Of yeah. the time. Uh, another hand out. Yes. Oh, I'll be the only one that's gonna get excited about that. Uh, <laughs> like George's wallet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Oh. Alright, so, yes. So, so, lady, so we're left? Yes, so yeah. by all means. And I tell the servant to take care of you guys. Whatever you want. The larder is open to you. Yes, it's me right down the Liquor crowd. cabinet. I want chocolate. <laughs> Let's have a, uh, a three course lunch. Yes. Let's have some yeah, yes. seriously. Chocolate and you probably brand. hear the uh, the bell being rung in the front as I and call my driver. driver. Okay. What? So Dottie, you were <laughs> So so Dottie, you were uh, you were nearby. Yeah. Perhaps you saw what was written on the card Perhaps as well. Yes, I did. But you might have already seen it. I get my coat, I get my, my camera and everything, and I'm running out the door. Following. Ladies and Um, should we... <laughs> Follow? I don't know, the servant's bringing you chocolate cake and champagne. Okay. And Shandy, and whatever you want. Ooh, I am not following. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
running out the door. I'll follow, uh, I'll follow Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about... I'll be chatting pleasantly with Max. <laughs> We're going to pull some cards. I'm Let's pull some cards. Yeah. <laughs> pull some cards, that's great. Shenanigans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, when I was their age. Uh, let's see. Oh, to be young again. Bridge. <laughs> Max, you're the youngest of us all, though, too. Yes. I love that. Mm-hmm. How old are you? I'm 21. Oh. Oh, my. Oh. Cute. Yeah. I know. I have a matronly fondness of you. Nice. It's like the grandson you never had. Oh, oh that's why yeah. I had him. Oh. Yeah. Bowers? Is he around? Or? Of course. He's always with me. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He got the weekend off for the whole fortune thing, so ah. mm-hmm. fortunately, <laughs> yes, you yeah. didn't have to undergo that because he probably wouldn't have handled that well. No, he would be fine. It's fine. So yeah. Do I make it to the vehicle? Oh, of course, of course. Okay. So oh, okay. the phaeton yeah. is brought around, okay. and, <laughs> and your, your chauffeur, you know, steps out. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm wrapping my uh, fur shawl mm-hmm. around me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in a panic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my box. So, so, so these two catch up with you as you're kind of right. stepping out onto the veranda. What's, yeah. what's yeah. this? No, just get in the car. Okay. <laughs> no time to explain. Just get in the car. I yeah. said there's no time to explain. I stand by that. <laughs> All right. I will not so wait for the driver to open the door on the other side. I will okay. actually just... Mm-hmm. All right. I can right get in. my own door. Thank you. This is American. That makes me uncomfortable. Yes. Yeah. Right. You like the frog and the unicorn thing and the the meme? No time to explain. Get in. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes, yes. Yes, yes. All right. <laughs> and it speeds off. And go, go, go! Speed to cheap side. We'll get back to our our card players momentarily. <laughs> so, um, all right. So yeah, you you make your way. Uh, oh. Let's see, well, where, where's Lady Asquith's estate? Ah, oh, she has one in London. Oh, it's, it's not a, her it's estate, it's a townhouse, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you make your way from the west side uh, over to the cheap side, hey yo, and. Uh, what um, <laughs> do you throw signs as you're like entering? <laughs> What's up? Yeah. Yeah, where are you from? Out the window. Oh, so where are you from? Okay, Lady. Lady. She's got a costume on. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Well. Um, like I said, she smells Mr. Boots, I'm sure. Yes. And she what? smells so stinky. <laughs> so we discuss on the way, I guess, right? Yes, what, yeah. is this, uh, what is this about? So, did you see what was on the card? Okay, yes, I did. So, I'm going to hand the card to what are you doing? Vance. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> see. <laughs> Tribbage and cake. Absolutely. That's why I ran out. That's why I ran out of the house. I will immediately turn around and see if anyone's following the car. <laughs> oh, all right. Make a spot hidden roll. Oh. Sixty-eight. 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 Sixty-
Oh. It is a man uh, wearing uh, servant's clothes, uh, albeit very disheveled. Mm. Uh, you smell a bit of latent wood smoke. Bettos. Bettos. Yeah. Uh, he says, you got my card then. We did. Your card? Well, I sent it on behalf of Professor Smith. He's in no condition. Please, come what? in. Yes, right. and so he steps back and opens yeah, the door. Yeah, we hurry I'll inside. glance left and right down the street first before I go in. Mm-hmm. Uh, spot in roll, please. Oh. I'm going to watch your hand. Haha! <laughs> exactly <laughs> roll! No, I want to nice. do it! That makes you feel any better. <laughs> I'm going to do something. Yeah. Alright, uh, check your spot hidden if you uh, haven't okay. already. And, uh, yeah. It's totally nobody's there. Okay. You know, it's raining, right. so most people are uh, staying yeah. inside. Yeah. All right. Good. So enter in. Make sure the door is locked behind us. Mm-hmm. Seems like not the not Put the my place to leave your doors door. unlocked. <clears throat> Need not. Uh, so you enter into a dim uh, single room apartment. Um, the drapes have been pulled. So um, it's uh, only kind of, and then with the gloomy day, it's uh, near completely black. Mm-hmm. Um, you see a man, um, you know, kind of matching the approximate build of Professor Smith. Yes. Uh, lying in the bed. Oh dear. Um, Badly burned. You can hear labored breathing. Yes. Oh, I rush oh. over to him. Um, okay, I'll need some sanity rolls. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. Make, make it. it. Oh, make it. I made it. I rolled a seven. Okay, good. So the the dim the dim light uh, does you well. Uh, none of you lose any sanity. Um, although he, as you come closer, you see that uh, he has been very badly burned. Mm. Oh. Uh, his skin is is livid red. Oh no. Uh, covered in in you know ooze oozing plasma. Yes. Uh, his oh, eyes dear. his eyes have actually swollen shut and like you know kind of the interior mucous membranes are poking out through the oh. eyelids. What? My car is right outside. We can take you to the hospital right now. No, no, please. Oh. Please sit down. No, I insist. You need to You, need you see there's a side out. table that has uh, <clears throat> some morphine uh, oh. and then a, a um, salt and protein uh, intravenous bottle. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> good reflex. <laughs> She's on it. <laughs> yes. Um, let's see, anyone who has medicine can make medicine. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> what did you miss? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crap. One percent of medicine. One yeah. percent. That's what you start with. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and yeah. field medicine. <laughs> uh, ah, wait, what? Wait, what? 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 A three? I rolled a three. Yes! yes. Can I do two luck? Yes! Nice. Dang! Oh, wow. Does that mean I can check it? Yes. Oh my god, check. check it twice, dude. Yeah. 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 Holy shit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So, um, yes. that was two points of luck? I burned two points of luck, yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. All right. So, uh, yeah, you actually hey, had hey, a, hey. Uh, you know, you, you had some, some buddies in the war. Yeah, sure. I, so, I remember very clearly. Yeah, and you visited them in the field hospital, and you basically saw the exact same kind of layout. Mm-hmm. So it's like Beto's that seems is, to know what he's knows doing. what he's doing. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I said no one. Uh, <laughs> I said a floating head. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any actual chocolate cake. Uh, All right. Uh, can I tell if uh, if he has any hope? Any any hope of living? Oh oh, oh. um maybe. Okay. Maybe. If, he, if, maybe if the infection a... doesn't set in, it's a coin toss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Infection is likely in this place. In any case, it he is. needs to go to a hospital. It, it is. is. Right? And, 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 and so Beto says uh, he insisted on meeting with you first before he'd let me take him. Okay. Let's make this meeting quick. And yes, then, yes, get quickly. him over there. Yeah. And, and so he's, yes, yes. And he's kind of like, you know, pushing oh. himself. No, 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 no. I cannot talk for long. I've been on the trail of the email, the cult artifact, the Seraf car simulacrum. Spell? <laughs> that would be S is in Sam. No. S E D E F K A R simulacrum. Okay. It is a statue and a source of great magical power. It was broken up at the end of the 18th century and scattered across Europe. Damn it. 
museum. <laughs> I plan to retrieve the pieces and destroy them. Last night, Beddoes and I were attacked in our home by Turkish madmen. <gasps> oh. oh no. I believe they also seek the simulacrum, but for foul purposes. Mm-hmm. The Turks tried to burn us alive, but Beddoes saved us both. Wow. One man. You, uh, oh, I should have noted, Beddoes does have some gauze bandages on both hands. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. Stand up, guy. Horrible. Yeah. yeah. My notes were no doubt destroyed in the fire, unless the Turks have them. They must not be allowed to recover the statue. I ask that you collect it before the assassins can reach it. But I know. <laughs> it's the perfect time for it. Yeah. Yeah. You also note that Beddoes is, is jotting down notes as the professor's talking. Okay. Ah. How many assailants? <clears throat> Half a dozen. Ooh. Oh. Oh my God. Beddoes says, uh, "Yes. Um, it was about eight o'clock last night, and there was a, a, <clears throat> a knock at the door. I answered it. They tried to come for me with knives." was able to shut the door in their face. Mm. Well done. But hard, I hope. <laughs> well, well. They surrounded the property and began lobbying bottles filled with petrol oh into God. the windows. Oh, ghastly. It's horrible. Quite. Is there anything else Sorry, you need to know? <laughs> Is there anything else that you need us to know before <clears throat> we take you to the hospital? This is what I can remember from my research. Just Paris was where the statue was dismembered. The owner was a nobleman by the name of Count Fenelic, who lost it just prior to the French Revolution. Some part of it may still be in France. Is it Fenelic or Benelic? Fenelic. It's in Fenelic. Napoleon's soldiers carried a piece into <clears throat> Venice when they invaded that city. Another fragment made its way to Trieste at the same time. I don't know what became of it, but look up Johann Winkelmann at the museum there. He may be able to help. There may be a piece in the kingdom of the Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes. Why did they make that name so long? <laughs> Start at the National Museum of Belgrade. Dr. Milovan Todorovic is the curator. One part was lost near Sofia during the Bulgarian War in 1875. At that time, things of value were hidden from the invaders, so it may be buried somewhere. The final piece was in circulation in Paris just after the Great War and was sold to someone from Milan. I do not know who. You must collect the statue pieces and destroy them. The only one sure way is to take it back to its original home, the place in Constantinople known as the Shund Mosque. The ritual which will destroy it utterly is included in a set of documents known as the Sedafkar Scrolls, but I have been unable to consult them. Now we must act quickly, for the assassins already have a leg up. Go! Go now! <laughs> sort of collapses back onto his oh bed. Oh my god. Okay, or, let's or take him outside. I'm sure my... Yeah, can yeah. we... Bellows, do you need us to take him to the hospital? No, I have a car on the way already. We're going oh. to go to a uh, hospital outside of town and register under an assumed name. Okay. May uh, I ask one question before we leave? Please, ask as many as you need. Um, does the name Mr. Um, Mehmet Makriot mean anything to you? Uh-huh. Makriot? No, I'm afraid not. Although it does sound Turkish, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Ah? <laughs> And so Why there you were six <clears throat> three men, three Turkish men named Mehmet Makriat were slain last night. I see. I see you there. Mm-hmm. So there's six pieces total? Um, Five. We believe so. Five, perhaps six, we're not sure. Okay. He uh, reaches under the bed and withdraws a leather valise. Okay. Compliments of Professor Smith. He, uh, he was planning on taking the Orient Express to visit these various locations. Mm. It is the fastest way to get between them, first of all. Yes. And my master is accustomed to comfort. <clears throat> and so he hands you the leather police. Do I have tickets for all of us? I mean... Well, it feels heavy. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'll take it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, we do hope that he recovers fully. <clears throat> I'm 
and we'll do everything we can to collect these pieces and destroy them. Indeed. Um, we will attempt to uh, stay in touch <laughs> by telegraph. Um, uh, I can send them uh, via telegraph retour. It's basically like general delivery. Whenever you come to a new city, check the telegraph office. There may be a message waiting for you. Oh, okay. If, God willing, Professor Smith survives, he will do everything he can from here to help with his researches and send you any new information he uncovers. I see. And Beto's was taking notes, so here's... Yeah! Oh, yeah. probably wrote that all down anyway, but that's... Try to. Yeah, yeah it's hard. Mm -hmm. A bag of coffee. Mm -hmm. Or coffee? Bag of coffee. <laughs> I like coffee too. Back of coffees are always good, yeah. Always have one. So we'll stay until uh, his yeah. car gets here and help move him. Okay, yep. So you get him out of the car and watch as the vehicle disappears down the road into the mist okay. and rain. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, let's, let's head back. Okay. Mm -hmm. I tell my driver to take a, a winding. Okay. Meanwhile, back. <laughs> so, back at oh. the uh, <laughs> back at the estate. Meanwhile. Any any divination or anything you wanted to do? Or? Ooh, yeah, I would love to. Yes. How Max <clears throat> tell me? You ever had your chart done? Why? Well, I, <laughs> cool. I can't say I have. <laughs> and I do find your skills most fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> I love Max. Yeah. We all love Max. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're up to. All right, roll that divination skill. All right. Cool. Or astronomy, or what was it? Anyway. Can I think of another calling under a cult? Because astronomy and astrology were different. Right. Yep, 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 yep. And I. You got a lemon like that, by the way. So, so hard. Oh, okay. Yeah. What did you get? I got an 11 out of 99. Whoa, Whoa. Nice. hey, oh. Excellent, excellent. Wow. So that's an extreme success. Uncanny. Find out about Matt. My reading. Exactly. Okay, well, your reading reveals that uh, the next three months are going to be a time of extreme hardship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both, on a, both on a national and personal level. Hmm. And um, there, are, there are certain planetary uh, indications that um, things will repeatedly prove to not be what they seem. Ooh, okay. Well, for, hmm. forewarned is forearmed, I suppose. <laughs> Always. <laughs> of course. As the trio comes clomping in to the uh, yeah. parlor. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, hello. So we're going on a trip. Of course we are. <laughs> oh, did you want to look into the leaves on the yes, right back? Yes. Uh, yeah. So the old man is done for. What ho? What ho? Yeah. Um, he was very a mouthful of cake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the last of him. There's, there's some hope he's being taken to a hospital now by his medicine. Uh, so inside of the leaves are 200 brand new crisp Bank of England five pound notes. So you've got a thousand pounds to play with. Woo! Whoa. <laughs> I say a thousand yeah. pounds. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Is that it though? So that's, that's everything. That's it. All right. Well, we gotta buy some tra it's well, itchy. train tickets, right? Mm, oh yeah. And uh, <laughs> train tickets and that. Train tickets, yeah, yeah. Uh, train tickets, they're in there. That's like in the no, 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 oh, we no, have no. to purchase oh, them. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Although I think you could afford that ticket, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Being honest. Well, yes, it's a gesture on the professor's part. <laughs> yes. Um, so, okay, so I guess, okay, so we would relay to them what we had seen and, right. and everything that they are oh, asking us. Oh, <clears throat> Yeah, it was absolutely Although disturbing. Although this is the beginning of only three months. <clears throat> wonder what is charged. Three months? <laughs> three months, I have foretold of extreme hardship. Three months? Oh, what do you... It has been ordained. By who? It's been defined. <laughs> Ordained. That which has been ordained has been ordained. Who? By who? Yo. We've had a school. <laughs> oh. We've been sitting here discussing. Oh. Huh. Oh. Would you like your shot then? No, thank you. <laughs> I don't believe in that. I feel compelled to go look at the ruins <laughs> for just a moment before we <clears throat> head out. Of course. Yes. And of course, there's the University of London as well. Yes. Yeah. The basement. So we, can we have to go those throbs. Yeah, so we, do you want to get like a hammer or like a pick or some <laughs> type of uh, like some a... Some shovels? Something that's... Ice pick? Something that's going to cause a... <clears throat> 
crack, like oh, mean, destroy. Oh, you mean we want to? Do you want to break the mirror? About that yes. much the same way. Shovel, ice is... pick, and uh, shovel. <laughs> I'd say uh, <laughs> like a stake and a uh, sledgehammer. I would say Ooh. let's patch the same way as this alleged artifact that we are on the trail of now. Mm-hmm. May only be destroyed in a certain manner, oh. in a certain place. Mm-hmm. I would assume that our Otherwise. magical Chinese oh. mirror certainly has some mm-hmm. secret as well. Yeah, I would dare it's say. In Chinese, you got me. Would you call it a Shanghai surprise? <laughs> <laughs> I will now. But um. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Although it is so. impossible, Mr. Jandis might know the location of such <laughs> instructions. Although the mirror itself might also contain such instructions in its very frame, I dare say that such an artifact of extreme power would also have complications in its destruction. Plus, you had that scroll, so once you learn enough Chinese, you can work it on it. Oh, work it on it. Oh, so All right, wise. well, they so have. do we still want to check out the mirror? The ruins. Yeah, I think Let the ruins. ruins. At the uh, professor's okay. house. Yes. 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 For any clues yeah. as to his assailants. All right. Dastardly. Well, I suppose if we felt like absconding with the mirror, we can probably convince the fellows of the university, especially a mere grad student on Saturday, that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. Keep me yeah. <laughs> oh, we are uh, I saw nothing. Right, exactly. And uh, collaborators. Just don't tell my advisor. Professor Smith, and uh, <laughs> at his request, he might have needed the, the mirror to be stored elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, by God. If it is here. <clears throat> should we? Yes, uh, and then maybe we should. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, should we look into the London holdings of Mr. Mehmet and Macrio? That might be good to that would be a nice I'm idea. familiar with his storefront. Yeah. That's, that's wouldn't be too hard to swing by. Okay. Yeah, so when yeah. should we purchase tickets though? I mean we should get on this right away. Tuckins. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, must, you must have a garden shed too, right? Oh yeah. Oh we'll get we'll get if we need any tools. Yeah. We'll, we'll throw, toss those in the boot and yeah. okay. on our way. Yeah, so Duncan's cool. purchasing passage. Yeah. All right. Okay. Awesome. And we need to visit the university, right? The mm-hmm. uh, ruins. ruins. Two. I'm sure so, we can no, call it even. Just the one ruins. Yeah. And then the storefront that mm-hmm. Mr. Macri yeah. okay. Have the mirror delivered? Oh, and uh, car. Yeah. <clears throat> any, any academic interests in the, in the British Museum library? <laughs> we don't have that kind of time. Okay. <laughs> you can get it. Only a whole lifetime's worth of study. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, yes, let's do that. All right. Okay. Put it out there as a resource. Why not? Mm-hmm. Indeed. Well said. Yes. All right. So which which first? Yeah. Which so first? With what now and which first? Well, where is it? Where is everything located? Like, ah, well, uh, the ruins are in St. John's mm-hmm. Wood, which is uh, on the outskirts of town. The University of London, so of course, is last. more centrally located. Which should be pretty close to the library, right? Mm-hmm. The uh, mm-hmm. British Museum, very close by. And um, let's see, Macriot's shop was in Islington. Which is a robot that was like black water. Islington. Uh, okay, yeah, near Soho. So, um, also kind of close to the center of town. All right, well. So, the St. John's Wood locale is the most remote, and then everything else is relatively. Well, if we begin with the university, <coughs> we'll, 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 if we have any questions. I forget, what are we doing at the university? We're uh, the mirror. Right. The mirror. We're, we're stealing, stealing the mirror. I see. <laughs> we're Collecting. not. Yeah. We're absconding. <laughs> we're protecting the mirror. Yeah. Collecting. Right. Okay. We'll try that first. Perhaps yeah. we should do that after we visit the library, so we're not carrying around a mirror into a library. As I said, I have a private car. But if we yeah. have questions that we need answered at the library, we won't know about them until we go. That's right. I see. Yeah. True. Well, either way, we're going to have to return to central London in order to take the train. Then let's work from the outside. So, so, yes. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. I apologize. Did I uh, interrupt you? No. <laughs> I apologize. No, I was only saying that we'll have to end up in central London anyways in order to take our train. So, so starting out and going in is best. Yes. So St. Yeah. John's Creek. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Off you head to St. John's Wood. Um, of course, a pleasant and pastoral part of town, uh, dotted with many estates and large houses. And uh, 
you find Professor Smith's residence easily enough because it's the one um, piece of property that yeah. has <laughs> trails of smoke rising up from it. Oh. Um, and a police uh, van parked at the base of the drive. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, the coppers? Coppers. Indeed. Right. Okay. I'm going to take some pictures of the location. Uh-huh. Sure. So, you, uh, your driver parks on the side of the road. You don't get out. Rain is not too bad right now. Mm -hmm. And, um... So, yes, Lady Cynthia will have her driver carry her umbrella for her. And of course. To the, <laughs> the police. Excellent. Oh, dear, oh, dear. This he was my good friend. Could you tell me, do you have any clues of how this fire could have been started? Uh, looks to be arson. Really? Oh my god. Oh. Wow. I'm gonna take a picture because it's close. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Top stare, they. Yeah. By what means do you know? Uh, most likely uh, petrol. Petrol! Oh <gasps> Ghastly. Indeed it is, Mom. <sighs> Terrible. Dance her eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, let's dear. get a group luck roll. Who has the lowest luck? Uh, that would probably be you. Uh, 35? 65. 35. How did that what? happen? Because I spent a goodly amount last session. Um, oh, and you didn't get any back. Didn't get any back. Oh, I rolled an odd seven trying to get one right. back. So. Right. Oh. Please roll. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. I make it. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, so as you're chatting uh, with the Bobby, uh, a um, delivery van uh, pulls up on the opposite side of the road. Uh, it was on. A delivery on. van? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Fellow uh, gets out, uh, rummaging around the back, comes out with a small parcel, maybe a um, five by seven. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, kind of, you know, comes across the road, <clears throat> looking a little confused. Quick thinking. Approach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, is this Professor Smith's house? It is. In fact, he sent us to collect. He was expecting this package. Oh, uh, very good then. I'll just need you to sign. Absolutely. Nice. All right. Yay. Hands over the parcel. Yes. Feels like a book. <gasps> I love books. <laughs> you would know a book by which, yes. <laughs> <laughs> books are good. Books are good. So Ooh. while this is going on, can yeah. I try and slip past the Bobby up the drive? Uh, you, can, you actually have a pretty good view of it from where you are. Oh, okay. And it's just, it's like a, from some chimneys there's and nothing. some Oh, it's timbers. really gone. Huh? Yeah, there's, wow. there's nothing that we can hope to find, we don't think. But for instance, as an archaeologist... Yeah, hello. Very true. Nevertheless, but if there's nothing, there's nothing. There's, there's quite a few, you know, guys around. Campus there's no, uh, do I see any interesting footprints? <clears throat> Spotted. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. very good. Mm, I missed by three, so I'll spend three luck points. Nice. Mm. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so um, you do notice you do notice some hobnail boot uh, prints in the mud. Side of the drive. Classic hobnail boot prints. Classic hobnail boot prints. <laughs> yeah, that sounds familiar. Yes, it certainly does. <clears throat> All right. Guess you get the measure of it. I guess I'm gonna have to get comfortable with the particular pattern of the nails. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll do a little sketch. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does anyone have any plaster of Paris? Mm-hmm. Roulage. Well, shall we? Uh, <laughs> shall we adjourn to the vehicle so that Padma can uh, open her parcel mm -hmm. and, yes. uh, yeah. and pack? Yes. Yeah. On our way Certainly. to the next stop. Which On is... our way to the uh, offices of uh, Mr. Macriot. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is, well, the, uh, the, uh, return address is from an address in Boston, actually, and, um... Oh, yes. uh, Lady Cynthia gives her card to the, uh, the officer and asks, as a friend of, uh, Dr. Smith, please let me know of anything you learn. Okay. And then I'll slip nice. in a Very smart. little, yeah, tip, a little 20 pounder or something. Oh, 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 good morning! <laughs> Surely a guinea. Yes. A guinea, there you go. Wow, okay. um, thank you. So five yeah, pounds. Just, just saying, my spending level is 10 pounds a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's well a banana, done. what could it cost? <laughs> five pounds? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good wealthy mistake to make. It is, yeah. Though, yeah. It? <laughs> but I'm, I'm assuming she'd be a little sad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not her first okay. time. Not yet, I'm first time yeah. for rodeo. <laughs> um, yeah. 
That's yes. funny. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> the, Dr. Emmett Lee at uh, Harvard. Um, <laughs> That's what it's like. Emmett Lee? Emmett Lee, yeah. Mm. Of Boston. Of Boston. And so you open the parcel, and it is uh, what looks to be an aged uh, diary. My favorite kind. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well worn leather, you know. And the smell, though. Mm hmm. And there's a note tied to the uh, book, just, you know, uh, Dear Julius, thanks so much for lending this to me. It was most instructive. <gasps> Ooh. Fine, oh, EL. <laughs> and uh, just flicking through it really quick, you can see that it's. Filthy it's pictures. <laughs> Smut of the most <laughs> instructive. <laughs> 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 step by step. Oh my god. Uh, it appears to be Dr. Smith's diary from 1893. Ooh. Ooh. Huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. I'm sure this will prove most useful. Yes. Alright, so. Um, Back you head into town, so where to next? I suppose we're going to Maskeyad's uh, yes, shops. Oh, okay. The oldie shop. Mm -hmm. Yes, the oldie shop. Antiques and art. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is at mm -hmm. 3 Brophy Lane in Islington. Um, have a nose. Um, this is the shop front, complete with Street Peddler. She is though. Wow. Tiny door. Uh -huh. Do we have to step down into the shop? No, no. He just he just rents the space. I see. The cupboard. He rents the cupboard in front of the store. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. All oh, right. Yes, he is missing the bottom half of himself. Yeah, that's really weird. It's fine. He's I'm sure fine. he's fine, but it's still just that's like it's just a little off-putting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. All right. Oh. Um, it's going to be Totally. So it's a uh, two-story shop. <laughs> There's a small uh, closed sign. Uh, <gasps> resting. Oh, you're, you're squawking. Babe. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. right. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, I'm replacing all like, the, the oh, oh, yeah. 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 Little to the court yes. <laughs> A little of sticky, like, placeholder. Yeah, I'll, I'll get some pins and we'll use No, not pins. Really? Oh, I don't know. We have if we're doing board. it on here, like, if we had, like, those little post-it that are, like, you can take off and take on. Uh, okay, so like, do we have a lowering system or we're just going to, like, descend it from above? Anyway, like, just you know, Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? There's, like, you know, the map and, like, the bigger picture or something on top? No. Sure thing. Yeah, so much. I'm about it. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So there, it's a two-story brick building. Yes. There's a small closed sign resting in the shop's door window. No. no. Oh, it's wow. closed on a Saturday. Well, well, who's to open? The proprietor did die three times. True. But I mean, <laughs> there's, there's, there's at least one more that's still alive. So yeah, obviously, um, one of them is. Yes, of course. An imposter. It's not all. So I will approach and knock. Hmm. Okay. Tap on the glass. Looks dark within. Hello. <laughs> um. Yeah. You wait there a couple minutes. And there's no response. Locksmithing, anyone? Oh. Oh, is it locked? Oh, I we try the door? It is locked. It is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good question. Oh, uh, <laughs> I got under. <clears throat> Or under hard difficulty. Ooh. Wow. All right, so with the five of you sort of crowded into the doorway, it's easy <coughs> enough to uh, jimmy the lock hmm. without anyone noticing. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Even then, I'm an associate. I was requested. Of course. Of course. Had someone noticed. Appointment. Right. Uh, so you proceed through the door, down a short tiled hallway, and into the door <coughs> proper. Um, you know, it's it's a junk shop. It's an antique shop. Mm, junk shop. Back awesome. office. Sure. Uh, so it seems to be specializing in Egyptian, Arabic, and Persian uh, goods, brasswork, rugs, ceramics. Um, now, do we know what this death car simulacrum is supposed to look like? Perhaps the British Museum will know. Perhaps. Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> um, 
You see some evidence that police have been here and gone. I see. Uh, just things overturned, you know, but not in the like, not in a ransacky sort of way. Uh huh. <laughs> just well, let's let's yeah. write things as we go along. Uh huh. Okay. You know, place not right, just to make it seem like if someone does walk in, we're doing, you know. Oh look, right. Look, Tidying right, I up. Get associates looking after the place. Mm hmm. Um. Let's see. So you head to the back. Um, this is a storeroom. So there's a lot of crates and whatnot, but oh. there's a uh, stairway leading up. Oh, well, all right. Are the crates leading? labeled by any chance? Uh, yeah, but mostly in Arabic. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Anyone? No, no. <laughs> that'll be my next thing. Yeah. That's yeah. That's my backup character. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, suddenly you're, you're all on the train reading Turkish made easy. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turkish for dummies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, and then there's only like maybe about a dozen crates, half of which are opened. Mm. Oh. A lot of Excelsior flying around. Right, of course. So, but yes, upstairs then? Yeah. Upstairs. yeah. Okay. I'll go up last uh -huh. and pick something off the table and just slip it in my pocket. Oh. Oh, what? All right. What I do. All right. <laughs> so what I do. What I do. Um, all right. So you grab a, a little brass work, um, <clears throat> like um, kind of made for for sale in the Western Market. Uh -huh. You know, like a, a brass work um, reclining lady. Yep. Kind of statue. Ooh, that's for me. Okay. Um, all right. So you head up the stairs. This takes you into a hallway <laughs> and takes you into a obvious living quarters, kind of like a studio apartment. Mm. Uh, but you can see an office space towards the front side of the building. Mm. To the office space, then, mm -hmm. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you can also make a roll. Yeah. As you move through. Oh, I fail again. Ooh, I made it. Ooh, I made it. I also I rolled make a three. It. Nice. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. You see everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see through the wall. See it all. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You just see Mr. Macriot's like a. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what Lady Asquith sees is that um, in the mm, sort of living quarter area, um, his uh, dresser drawers are kind of not fully clo closed, no and way. there's some clothes kind of roughly hanging out of them as if they oh. were empty in a hurry. <gasps> oh, mm. yeah. And since you rolled that U3, you also note that um, the place where a gentleman normally keep his luggage seems to be emptied out, save for a single valise with a broken handle. Oh, oh wow. Shit. I point that out. He's traveling. Yeah. yeah. Sign of a uh, hasty departure. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's How four of these guys. At least. At least. Yeah. Perhaps mm. there's a half dozen of them. <laughs> yes. Perhaps there are 87 of them. <laughs> We just don't know. We just don't know. Just don't know. <laughs> Are there any photographs <laughs> anywhere? Or Perhaps. ticket stubs or, I don't know, Should journals? Uh, what? There we go. Perhaps okay. there are 39 of them. One per step? Anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, um, what was the question? Are there any photographs? I want to just, just try and discover if this fellow was the fellow who tipped his hat to me at the banquet lecture. Oh, wow. Uh, sadly, no photographs. No photographs. No. Curious. <clears throat> It's not a vain fellow. Nope. Mm. Alright, so we're just looking around this room. Into the office though, luggage. right? Yes. Okay. Um, it's a tidy office. Um, you find the account books and records, easily enough. Oh? Mm-hmm. And nothing else to note though. Shoot. Hmm. Uh, can I look at the account books? Does it look Certainly. like there's a lot of red in them? Uh, they are very well kept. If anyone has accounting, Make that roll. I have praise. Five percent. I have ten percent. That's quite good. In an antique store? I have someone to do it for me. Uh, no. No. Nope. <laughs> Alright, no. I can okay. hire a bookkeeper. I have two. Alright, so we don't You know. note that the final uh, sale uh, was a consignment for one Wrightson Special Commission train set purchased from the estate of Randolph Alexis. Has to make an idea roll. Train set. I make it. Ooh. You remember the name Randolph Alexis from your days in the Golden Dawn? <gasps> oh my oh. god. Wow. Train set. Um, mm -hmm. 
Can I browse through the account book and see if any um, invoices or purchases or receipts came from Venice, uh, Treaties, nice. Paris, yeah. Sofia, yeah. Milan, or really yeah, really. the Kingdom of Serbs? Certainly. Uh, Just in general. <laughs> Just, you know, scanning if I can even find like where the, you know, locations are in this book because mm-hmm. it's all uh, it's all mystic to me um you do know city names okay. and addresses <clears throat> and most of them seem to be locations in turkey or the levant mm-hmm. and and most of them seem to be bought through london auction houses <clears throat> mm. indeed all right mm-hmm. mm-hmm. no sign of the name sedefkar Anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> one. Let's see, number one. So that's for a simulacrum. All right. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, do we think that we can find anything else in here? Seems to be. Uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty uh, bare office. So. What's the flooring? Flooring solid. Solid flooring. Right. Yeah. Stomp around a little bit. Yeah. No, no secret trap doors. No, no, no trap doors. Lift the paintings off the walls. Yeah. No safe. Nothing. No. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's okay. be off them. Yep. All right. We're gonna have to come back for the second time. Mm-hmm. He left in a hurry. Mm-hmm. Yes, he did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. So, um, very good. Um, let's see. Could you take a, a photograph of sure, yeah, the, uh, the uh, downstairs? Just a couple of shots, maybe, once okay. we go to the library. That's a great idea. Yeah, we could look and see if. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Inventory. So, yeah. Yeah. So take some pictures. Excellent. Okay. Inventory. Pictures are taken. Oh, right. Insurance purposes. Insurance purposes. To the library or to the mirror? Uh, well, the mirror I can call my own car. So if we arrange that right away, then we will be able to go straight to the library and have that. Um, you were meeting for brunch, right? Lunch. Or was it a lunch? Lunch. 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 I, I don't know. He's getting late. It's about three thirty at this point. Ah, see. So all right. We'll it's have the library. One more stop before something, everything closes. Yeah. We'll have to go to the library then. Library. Because yeah. the university should be open, right? Grad students will be there all night. Well, no. Right? We're gonna send a, somebody. <laughs> to, we're gonna send the car. Yeah. <clears throat> we want to try and tag along. All right. Let's take it then. Well, at least the car will, you know, make sure that someone is there. Split Lol. the party. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we've already done that. <laughs> Let's sit there, that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not. <nuts>. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, onward? All right. Onward and upward. But to the library, we're on the green. British Museum? Library, yeah. yes. Okay. Yes, the museum. Uh, let's see here. Do you need a membership in the peerage? Academic references. That's me. Clear statement of need specific to museum library holdings. Not crap. Well, yeah, anyone, yeah, anyone, anyone type something up. Oh, anyone. Oh, anyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. is good. Okay. The rest of you lot will have to come up with an excuse to get in. You could probably think of something specific that you want to see. Oh, I yeah. need to play it. I'm here for research. Fine. Yeah. Dance and Dottie, as, as uh, Americans trying to get into the British Museum. What are the three reasons again? Well, you have to be a member of the peerage. No. no. That's right out. You have to have academic credentials. No. 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 <laughs> and you have, or a clear statement of need specific to museum library holdings. Maybe I see. Uh, specific to library list. holdings. Yeah. Um, obviously, they have. Uh, Gutenberg Bible. I don't know. Right. Yeah, you're kind of Catholic and stuff. I mean, <laughs> that is true. I am. Uh, yeah, I, I am Catholic. They probably have like an original Latin text. Mm-hmm. Um, Icons. And my next film will be a uh, will be of a religious slant. Oh <laughs> yeah. Film star. Yeah. So perhaps I could attempt I'm, to fast talk yeah. my way in. Uh, it would be a persuade. Oh. He, okay. All right. <clears throat> Do I really want to burn Forlock? Yes, you do. He's a 35. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, um, no, I You don't, don't need to get in. We'll tell you whatever we come The up. two of you could go to the university. <clears throat> yeah, oh, let's yeah. go to the university. Yeah, sure, yeah. let's do that. Split the party. Oh, we are splitting the party. Oh, yeah, right. I was joking. No, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. 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 It's
film star snubbed at the uh, the British Library. <laughs> Maybe. If you're gonna do this to me, I'm an American. All right. No, All right. we're gonna head to the university. Yeah. All, right. All right. And so I'll take a picture of you with some books. So oh. you'll be like looking in a like you're standing on one of the little ladders. Oh yes. And you're looking at a book. Maybe. Mm. Maybe uh, really yeah. Really closing <laughs> in on ladders, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he's not that. Because he's climbing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just remember the metaphorical artistic interpretation, right. but right, yeah, yeah, this okay. practical side too. Yeah. Yeah. How tall are you? <clears throat> Not tall enough. Size fifty. So oh, average no. height. Yeah. I'm size fifty. I'm size fifty. Yeah. I'm a diminutive old woman. So <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like so I'm like Tom Cruise height. <laughs> what? Right. Yeah. 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 So get on that ladder. <laughs> yeah. And, and hold a very small book. Yeah, yes. right. Make your hands look bigger. Oh, <laughs> weird, 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 childlike elf hands. Oh. <laughs> All right. So at the university, we pop in. Like, I just see that section of books or whatever. Like, whatever. Take that. And so then we're going to go down to the basement, like? And... Uh, yeah, you have to kind of find your way around and, yeah. and figure out what, which uh, department you need to go to and so forth. Oh, so yes. you start asking around on the uh, gloomy, mm-hmm. rain-swept campus as yes. we go back to the cozy right. interior of the British Museum with its Snug. famous uh, awesome. reading room with mm-hmm. its massive uh, open uh, multi-story area with the uh, skylights overhead. Gosh. Uh, and yeah. the rows and rows of, of tables, each with their own little lamp shades. Lamps, and, yeah. and, um, that smell. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that smell. Yeah. Um, it's sparsely populated today, being a Saturday afternoon and miserable outside. Um, so, um, kind of have a place to yourselves. Uh, what all would you like to try and look up here? Mm. Got, you basically got one shot. Oh, Because no. the, the library use role represents a half a day of, of research in the ah, library. Ah, oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay. In a couple okay. hours, so. so. let's see. So we're gonna have to look at dynastic. But you can each, you know, obviously mm-hmm. do something for a different subject. Okay, so um, the, uh, what is it called? The, uh, it's the death card, it's mm-hmm. in the locker room. Yep, <laughs> yep, could just be a Was dismantled. That. In eighteen seventy. Uh, in the eighteenth century. Eighteenth century. Ah, okay. Large. And in Paris. Most likely. Okay. Um, and we don't know anything more specific. Well, no, there was a name. Count. Go to the files. Count uh, Fenelik. It was Count Fenelik. Uh, Count, Count Fenelik. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm going to um, look up uh, the newspapers. Maybe there may be an archive. Can you just mm-hmm. search by Fenelik count? Yeah, you, all you have to do is say the, what you're trying to find information on. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's a keyword search. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, she speaks French, so. Perfect! Oh, perfect. 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 All right, so you're going to be looking at Fenelik. Okay. Yeah. How about Max? Well, I'm going to go right for the Sedkef car. Sedkef car? Sedkef car. Sedkef car. Okay, and Pat? Well, you know, I'm kind of interested in laws of multiplicity. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Go to some physics and all right. stuff, you know. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's get some library use rolls. Yeah, baby! Yeah. I got oh. a four. Got it, 20. Damn. I'll have to spend three luck to make it. Sure. Okay. I made a hard success. Excellent. Hello. Three. All right. Yeah. All right, so you, uh, <laughs> you all meet back after uh, combing the stack for, uh, for an hour or so. That F car. By this point, <laughs> by this point, um, pretty much the only person left in the reading room is some scholar who has fallen asleep <laughs> at his table. Uh, you know, with his, with his head down in his arms. I've never done that. Head. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's really not. Spent a night in the library. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so uh, yes, Count Fenelik. Let's see here. So, 18th century French count um, mm-hmm. had uh, an estate in Poissy. Okay. Um, seems to have uh, disappeared during the French Revolution, probably during the Reign of Terror. Uh-huh. One of the you know, hundreds of nobles went under the guillotine. Okay. And uh, and his estate was broken up soon after that. I see. No heirs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Well, there were any. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
you know, descendants are living in England for some reason. Ah. But I got the location <laughs> of the estate where it was originally, right? Hmm? Yeah. The location of the You do get a location. Well, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, as for the Sedef Car Simulacrum, uh, nothing really. Uh, nothing? No. The closest you get is a mention in an illuminated 13th century manuscript called the Devil's Simulare. Uh, research, however, implies that more information may be found in the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris. Ah! Mm -hmm. Simulare. Devil's Simulare. Mm -hmm. Paris Library. And uh, the Laws of Multiplicity? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you actually find out some interesting stuff uh, discussing... Uh, what's it called? It's called something or other. D -d 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 -d. Looks like I'm gonna have to go to Paris. Yeah. Oh, Simon, you do too. You have also a location in France. Oui. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, the Orient Express uh, starts in Paris, so there you go. Ah, yes, World Lines. World Lines. Ooh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. A curve in space-time. A curve, you say? Mm-hmm. Joining positions of a particle throughout its existence. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. That's what... Fantastic. I mean, I was feeding up on some quantum geometry. Naturally. Hand. Naturally. So, you know. But it relates to geomancy, doesn't it? It was four-dimensional geometry. Mm -hmm. That's what I was reading. That's um, right. Adventure, in fact. So, most fascinating. Indeed it is. So, um, so we still don't know what it looks like. No, we have no clue. No. no. So one of the librarians is uh, moving through and just kind of announcing the library will be closing soon. Please gather your things. I'm going to go wake the sleeping gentleman. Okay. Oh, well, that's so nice of you. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Oh, well, I'm simply doing this. Oh, you don't know my motivations. Oh, okay. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Uh -oh. Nothing at all. Weeks. All right. So you head over to wake the sleeping gentleman. Pardon over me, at the university. <laughs> Hold that thought. Uh oh. <laughs> but, uh, right. So eventually yeah. you locate the, uh, the the building that houses the archaeology department. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, you find uh, a you know somewhat um, pale, uh, sleep deprived looking grad student mm -hmm. sitting at the front desk. <laughs> yeah, it should be. It should be. Yeah. 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 Yes. Hello. How can I help you? Oof. What, you don't recognize me? Oh, 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 oh. Are you going to? Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 high beams. Yeah. Hit her with the high beams. Yeah. Is it a girl or a boy? Ooh, that's ah. a difference. Mm. It's actually a lady. Ooh. Oh. An apple or a charm roll? An apple roll, see if she recognizes you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that's uh, a. <laughs> Solid? No. Yeah, that's 23 out of 80. That's enough. Oh. Right, so, yeah. yes, can I help? Well. And then she's like, <laughs> you know, like, oh. kind of, did everyone, anyone ever tell you you look just like Vance Vickerson? <laughs> I tell myself Victor's that every day. Victor's Vickerson. Well, she might have said it wrong. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tell yourself that every day. I tell myself that every day because I happen to be Vance Vickerson. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> and you hear the panties drop. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so she starts kind of giggling uncontrollably. Oh my and, you god. Know, just sort of goes into awesome. all this. Yeah. So you, uh, uh, you are an assistant to Professor Smith. Oh, no, no, oh, oh, no, no, um, <laughs> you must be, no, <laughs> to be working such late hours. Oh, it's... no, no, I, I'm not Professor Smith's assistant, no, no, I, but I, I am an archaeology grad student, yes, oh, um, <laughs> um, but yes, no, it's, it's quite, it's quite terrible, um, oh. that he's gone missing. Yes, of course. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. What? Why? Oh, you'll have to excuse me. This is most irregular. Vance <laughs> Vickerson walks into my walks into the office and starts asking about Professor Smith. I never in a million years. The police were here earlier. I told them everything I could. You didn't know that uh, Professor Smith had inter interviewed not only myself but uh, Miss Dorothy Gale here uh, about his most recent uh, um, study of the lecture. lecture. Yeah. Oh, I thought I saw an item in the paper about that. Yes. Yes. Yes, I took those pictures. Oh, I see. Wait, they haven't been published yet. Oh, they haven't been published yet, but I took them. <laughs> I've taken pictures. <laughs> Those pictures over there. Many pictures. Those <laughs> oh, the pictures of the, the, the yes. pictures that he used. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, okay, so she's kind of like, oh, oh, I see, I see. So are you just... 
concern associates that. Well, uh, we'd previously yeah. had communication with him regarding the mirror, which was the focal, focal point of his, of his actual lecture. Um, and seeing as we had a, a long-standing relationship with said mirror, which is odd enough to say, obviously, uh, but he was going to <laughs> a relationship with the mirror. <laughs> it's it's well, a very strange it's mirror. A it's a contentious star. relationship with the mirror. Yeah, as a movie star, you would have yes. a relationship with many mirrors. Yes. Yes. Um, in any case, uh, we were supposed to have a viewing with the uh, with the professor tonight um, regarding it. Oh, I see. The mirror, yeah. yes. Yes, um, it was. it's for an upcoming film that I'm going to be in. Oh my god. Uh, someone wanted to, I told the story to a, uh, a screenwriter in, uh, in in Los Angeles, and so... <laughs> I'm just she, like, she's, I'm, she's like completely lost you at this oh point. She's just like... She's just staring at <laughs> this. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm getting progressively like, where is the well, story going? <laughs> so, so she said, uh, oh, you know, Paul said something earlier when he was on the desk and someone called asking about the mirror. That must have been you. Yes, of course. Okay, well, oh, that's well, fine then. Um, here, and she, she Did opens. we call about the mirror? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, someone else had on their way. Yeah. Cindy, you called about the mirror. <laughs> 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 a man with a foreign accent. <laughs> that's right. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Um, so she, yes. she uh, right. opens one of the drawers, <laughs> fishes out a key ring, comes out around the desk, walks mm-hmm. you down mm-hmm. a hallway. You see there's a plain door that says, you know, uh, basement access. Mm. Secret artifacts contained. That's there. right. Mm-hmm. Warehouse 23. <laughs> um, and she she undoes the lock and just throws the door open for you and says, uh, "Well, it's down there. Um, if you uh, if you need to take a look at it." Absolutely. Obviously, and Professor Smith won't be here for his meeting. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna touch it's her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch her shoulder. It's okay. Yeah. Well, I bet she doesn't want me to <laughs> comfort her right now. It's the first she's ever noticed you. Yeah. 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 Oh, are you? Oh, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought it was just the two of us. Uh, yep. So, they're there. <laughs> no, but yeah, she she accepts yeah. your condolences. Okay. So, yes, we'll just be taking a few pictures downstairs, and I'll, uh, I'll put... One of my own comforting hands on her shoulder, and just say, oh "Why don't you? Uh, why don't you get yourself a cup of tea? We can we can handle things down here." Oh, oh my god, does it work? Yes, yes, that would be best. And so she bustled off. Oh, all right, all right, let's go. Let's get so, quick, what's her app? <laughs> Thank what? you. Wait, what? No, go ahead. I'm generating her app. <laughs> what's her app? Oh, what's oh. her app? Oh my goodness. Ooh. Pen dragon uh, is totally uh, brand new. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seventy. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's yeah. a moment. Hmm. All right. Well, um, let's go downstairs and get this mirror out of here. Mm-hmm. We're, but we're, it's like five by three, right? Five by oh, three. Oh, it's such a big one. What are we doing? Why are we driving a car? Yes, right. No, I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm not moving that mirror. No, no, so what we can do? Yeah. Okay, I know what we'll do. We just want to make sure that it's there. You want to locate it? Well, I yes. mean, I have a private car. And I'm used to moving antiquities. But I think oh, that's we're a good point. Sending a car to the mirror. Sure. You probably have like a sedan delivery or something. Right. So what I was about to say was that we know that it's there. We've seen it in person. Check it out, though. Creepily, it's there. There. And give some directions. Yes, and then yeah. it's like then we can let the student know we're gonna have some folks come to take it. Take it away. In order to I'm make sure, sure that it's secure. Blah, blah, blah. They're here and they can just take it away. Who needs to tell her? Or we can just unlatch a back door. I just wanted. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm just interacting with yes. the characters. So I mean, is she coming back or? Well, <laughs> down in the basement. I'm not moving. You find the She's mirror. probably running to tell all her friends right now. Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, my God, here with me. Let's check yeah. it out. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Hell yes. Uh, down in the basement, uh, you find the mirror easily enough. It's not, yeah, it's not like Raiders of the Lost Ark style. Alright, okay, good. <laughs> you know, it's, it's 40 feet by 40 feet. Uh, there is an actual, like, uh, lift, you know. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You know, to so take things up and down. So cool. easy, it'll be easily... Easily, reasonable. easily okay. extracted. You know, I met Tony Morrison, and I what? was pretty quick really? to tell my friends about it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Greatness. That is amazing. That's yeah. So, cool. so, yeah, you can get things set up, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, we could perhaps even say that you saw Padma's man. <laughs> They're quick. Kind of, you yeah, know, yeah, lurking yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all day. So, so, there's, so there's no need to even let this person know that the mirror is... No. Uh, being taken away because he can just come in through the lift, okay. which you yeah. now have access to. All right. So, would you have like signed pictures of yourself, maybe that you could 
hand I don't know. Yeah. To Shay. I could just, you know, give her my autograph. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. She was so, uh, you know, that was back cool. out of the thing. Yeah. I'm totally imagining, like, Rudolph of you know, style, like, yeah. God, yeah. a serious mm-hmm. portrait. So, you know, it takes you about 20 minutes supervising these guys as they get the mirror out of there and get loaded in mm-hmm. with the blankets and everything, make sure it's okay. Yeah. So is it going to be stored in uh, Padma's basement? Uh, I didn't specify. No. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, okay. So, wait, does the student yeah. come back at all? Well... As you're heading back out, you, you saw no sign of her during this whole process. Mm. As you're heading back to your car, however, you hear, There he is! <laughs> like the Beatles! And, and you see her and about a dozen other young women. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let me let me just take a picture of you with these girls. Oh, of course. All yeah, right. I will turn oh, yeah, sure you love and make my way towards them. And there's even yes. a couple guys, too. Yeah. Yes. Alright! Yeah. So, yep. So everyone kind of crowds around. You know, autograph books being thrust in your face. Oh, of course. All right, you know. so I'll take a picture of all of this happening. Uh-huh. Stuff. All right, and then, yeah, you pose for some photos, mm-hmm. etc. Back at the British Museum. <laughs> Place your hand on the man's... Pardon me, sir. The library is closing. At the touch of your hand, oh. he... Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh! Off the chair. As he falls off. His hat he comes Turkish? off. Yes. His 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 head comes off his arms. So you can oh, see his, his hands. head comes off. I mean, his, his, his yeah, his head comes off his arms, so you yeah. can see his hands. Uh-huh. And you see his head. Yes. And he's wearing a suit, but he has no skin. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Oh! That's a sand roll. Oh sand roll, my please. God! No. His eyes, really? his lidless eyes, are staring up at you. Oh! oh this is a fascinating thing. Really. The color of the eyes. <laughs> Yeah. 57 I made at one point. Nice. Nice. Whew. So you still lose a point. All right. That's disgusting. This is absolutely fascinating. Exploration of the fascia. Yes. Oh, Indeed. There is uh, there is also something pinned to his lapel, like a note. All right. Oh, oh that's man. Terrifying. I will oh. attempt to unhook it and read it. Oh. As you lean in, you realize the note is written on skin. Jesus! Yes! Uh, oh. it. Oh. Yeah, you have a hand up for that one, David? <laughs> 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 I could have helped you. Yeah, yes. oh. oh, actually, wait, my blister's still coming off. No, no, no. Hand up, up. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Clive Barker runs the game. Yeah. Right. Get my thumb blades out. Yes. All right, so. Yes. <laughs> so on it, it says the skinless one will not be denied. Well, he wasn't, oh, well. like, who was going to? I was planning on being agreeable with the skinless Yeah, one. I can assure you, I love oh the skinless Oh my god. One. Uh, He's our pal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Glad I'm not there. Skinless one will not... Dear god. Skinless. Indeed. So, so I'm uh, screaming like a little girl. Yeah, so you, yeah. you lost the standpoint, so you do, you do let out a, a, a yelp. A shriek. A yelp. Do we come running? If you like. Oh man. Of course. Hey, oh, make That's that sand roll. So there's his body just laid out on the, on the floor. Oh, is it bleeding through the suit? The, the suit is kind of. Let me make it! <laughs> oh, I definitely have the lowest sand here out of it. Oh, yes, yeah, it's true, actually. Yeah. You still lose a point. It's 45. No, it's um, yeah, the suit is kind of moist. It's moist. Uh, so. moist. Is, there a, is there a wallet in the suit? Damn, you want to fish around I for it? Yeah, I need to know. Oh, we both need our sand. So, so you check yes. the you check the back pocket. Anything? Uh, you reach in, you feel a, a wet leather oh, wallet. Oh God damn! So you pull it out. It's is there sticky. anything in his interior coat pockets? Uh, oh you check God. you check his coat pockets. Yes. Uh, you just find some loose. And where is the person who was running around saying uh, the librarian? Yeah, he's, this... he's he's coming back. Yeah, he's, he's, he's running over. Oh, oh, okay. You can roll for his sand loss. Yeah. yeah, does he just go, out, go cray cray? Mm-hmm. All right, so... The scene works. He just collapses. Yeah, so he, he runs up and he's like, Oh, oh, oh my god. You know, like, <laughs> that he runs was up to the good. witch bags yeah. and starts puking. Yeah. 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 What a Noisily pitch. sick. Yeah. <laughs> Noisily sick, exactly. Noisily sick. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. Give me something to be sick in. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh my god. So, um... <laughs> so I open the, the heavily stuffed wallet, the guitar lessons thing comes out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So there's, 
Well, there's a, a an ID. Cool. There's an ID no. from the universe. What is the wallet made of, by the way? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> it's not made of humans. Okay. okay. University of London okay. ID. Okay. The the University of London student ID. Student. Oh well. Identifying him as one Richard Wentworth. Richard Wentworth. We hardly knew ye. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sure we'll find out more about him. I'm sure we'll. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, maybe he was a dick. Well, it was he Richard. was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, His last what? assignment. Snap. Richard. Is there, is there a... <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Uh, Why, how do you know that? Uh, hey, hey, now. He never returns library books. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah there, there we go. go. He what, sleeps in the library. What's yeah. obvious from handling the body a little bit more is that oh. he, he is fully flayed. Yeah, that's what I'm he wondering. He is skinless like, throughout. Head to toe, oh, man. Cool. So basically they flayed him and then dressed him in his suit again. Oh. Right. Worse, they managed to flay him while keeping the suit on. Also possible. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and worse. Wow. Uh, uh, all right. Also very cool. gross. What was he reading? Mm. Any, is there already nothing? Nothing. nothing. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Lady Cynthia is keeping her distance from. <laughs> <laughs> keep it just, you don't just, say. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Some smelling salts. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Wow. Mm-hmm. So they call the police, I guess. Right. Yeah. Police are all. I'm not calling you. They are. You're not calling me? No, the librarian. Yeah. Oh, yes. Once he wipes his mouth with his hand. Oh, God. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Who is the skinless one, Padma? We're going to have to look into that. Damn it. If only the library could close it. Yeah. <laughs> well, perhaps the Bibliotech National will have something going on. Perhaps. Perhaps. So you have to hang around and give statements and so forth. This is tedious. Mm-hmm. I mean, if we have to hang out, maybe we have time waiting for them to show up to do some more library checking. You can make a library use roll, but you need to have a hard uh, success. Or- <coughs> <coughs> Who's going to stop me? You mean us? Like hard, hard difficult? Hard difficulty success. Strange. No. Oh, I'm so close. <laughs> I made it! I made it with a 12! Ah! <laughs> uh-huh. I'm in with a 12! <laughs> Any, any information on the skin of the one? Uh, all you find is, um, is talk about um, how, you know, magical scrolls are sometimes inscribed on human skin. Okay. You know, yeah. and people would be flayed alive and then their skin would be used. So the oh, so they make the scrolls. <laughs> I start thinking about my Chinese scrolls. Like so yes. Star star scroll. Yes. Mm. Maybe like, like this. The death cast scrolls, Yeah. Yeah, we get a little pink. Oh. Someone's been played and it's going to be used for a scroll. Now we know. I don't, I don't know. Right. No one's had to know. It's just a calling card. Maybe they're just collecting skin for the skinless one. Right, because he's skinless. We're not there. No, we're not. But we can talk <laughs> we're not about it. We the only takes it. offering for skin. It's like running random conversations about flayed people <laughs> and skinless ones. You know what I'm thinking about? People Charky. flayed alive. Charky. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Why do we have a sharky at this table? Oh no, we're no, working on like that. No, you like that bit in uh, Return of the Living Dead. It's like, no, nah, I always thought I'd die getting ripped apart yeah, by a bunch, a bunch of old, old men. men. Oh well, now we don't know what's going to happen to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no yeah. trash. Mm. Oh. All right. Anyway. <laughs> trash. Trash. Taking her clothes off again. All right, so. <laughs> All right, so that's basically Saturday day. That's a lot. That's, that's a hell of a lot. Oh, oh, did you see so the Is your ego boost today? Yeah, we're hungry, but <laughs> yeah, we're too early again. Yeah, yeah, yeah been you're celebrating about. Yeah, so. <laughs> some pork, for fried pork rinds or something, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some pork chops. <laughs> <laughs> All vegetarian. Soup? Steaks are vegetarian. Steaks are vegetarian. Alright, well, so, so yeah. we're coming back. Are we like, are we, uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, you're running doing it, Pat, as I, I oh, presume. Yeah. Since, oh, that's cool. right. Since that's where the mirror was going. Is yes. it? Oh! oh. She never Dude, did. I'll bet she wrote it, it down, pad? though. Oh, wait, what? Did she wrote it down to tell only somebody? Maybe my like drivers? It. Well, we know. they would have to. Yeah. I'm just having my drivers drive around London indefinitely. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah. such a lark. <laughs> Sam is 44. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, not worth it. it's possible. It's All right, possible. so we are rendezvous. Run- so we'll, we'll meet it. At Padma's? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Indeed. Lovely. All right. Wow. Yeah. So how was your day? <laughs> so how was your day? All right. Oh, so. my God. No. It was the frozen <laughs> limit. We had a, we oh. <laughs> a very <laughs> busy day. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people recognized you. It's pretty cool. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> part of the jobs. 
Crown Corps. Skin of Corps. So the, the train tickets, have those been acquired? Train tickets have been acquired. Oh, they when do we leave? Were... Late? Right? No, we're not late. Of course not. <laughs> um, each ticket costs 21 pounds, 14 shillings, and 9 pence. We got money! Woo-hoo. We got Thanks. money! For food and So I'm not food. gonna try and figure out exactly how no, much that is. Do but we'll we just really say there's some import it? duties on that. So yeah, 21 uh, pounds, I give us 22 pounds. We'll call yeah. about 110 pounds. Yeah. Is that first class passage? Yes. Oh, oh that's my all they God. have. Yeah. 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 Well, we, well, I'm yeah. asking. Well, just checking. I wouldn't assume. No, me neither. Well, of course. So the, uh, this is for the uh, train that will be departing Paris on Wednesday. Ooh, so we have to take a train to Paris. Paris. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, first we have to get to London. Paris. Oh, because we have work to do in Paris, though, too. You do have yeah. work to do. We've got to go now. So there are two ways to get to Paris. OK. Uh, you can take a train to Dover and then board a ferry yep. to Calais. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you live on an island, so crossing water is going to figure into this in some way. Uh, maybe you can take some laws and sedate yourself. So yes. much opium. You yeah. know so that much opium. Mr. T on the A team. I think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yes. You, gotta, you gotta dope them up to get them on the plane. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so what's what's the other? The other My tolerance is so high. Flight. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Same. Yes. Oh, just charter Rolling, flight directly from... Level mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I'm sure we could do that. Yeah. Wait, what else are we... How else? We can charter, charter a plane? Charter flight. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, cool. That. Mm-hmm. There are actually... Uh, yeah. There is actually a regular daily uh, route from Croydon Airfield to oh, okay. Les Bourget. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, Les Bourget. Yeah. 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 Wow. How much is it, by the way? Just wondering. Six pounds each. Oh, that's so cheap. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Does that come with a meal? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Oh no. It's a flight of this bad boy. Yeah, that's a very brief flight. Yeah. Yeah. That's, cool. that's the that's cool. interior cabin. Yeah. Oh, cool. Quicker seats. Oh, nice. that's that is that's super sweet. safe. A that's terrifying. terrifying. <laughs> Oh come on! It was it was. Well, I've been in, and I've been in a flying house before. That's freaking. <laughs> I've been in a flying house before. Rickety. Beautiful. Yeah. Can't be any worse than that. Mm-hmm. That is so neat, though. We're so, uh, yeah. So yeah, departing flight is on Monday morning. Okay. Um, oh. So that gives you Sunday in case there's anything else. Decompress from having seen them. Simply decompressing is <clears throat> perfectly fine. Hi. I'm gonna go have uh, Julius Arthur Smith literature doctor. Where are you going to visit him? Wait, where is the hospital? He, he's he, under you a. You were not informed of where he was going or what name or he was going to Telegram only. Alright, well, you, uh, you said it was going to take us three months. That's what your, uh, that's what your fortune is. Well, no, I didn't say it would take us three months. I said that we are foreseeing three months of extreme difficulty. Turbulence. Hardship. I'm well, do, we know how long the, uh, do we know how long the trip is? What? He's just stopping each stop for. He's waiting for something to happen. Silent. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> wait, wait, no, what was being said? You're, just, you're, you're asking how long it takes to get from Paris to Constantinople. Oh, I'm really right. just asking because I'm going to be buying clothes for a longer journey than I expected. Right, All right yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, are you going to go shopping? Yes. I'm going to follow you on your shopping trip. We'll take shopping. You shopping. All right. Oh, um, Montage. <laughs> yeah. All the rich in London. Let's buy some sturdy shoes. Right. Some good coats, some good pants. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you happen to have a shotgun that I could borrow? Sure. Yes, I have a whole collection. Love it. To go shopping? See, you know, hunting, sick. should, yeah. uh, or should we? Oh. The, um, the total journey is, is fairly quick. I mean, it's like, I can't find the exact time. Hop on the it's, train? It's like, it's like two, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's like ten days. If you're going nonstop. If you're going nonstop, because actually the Orient Express, they, they arrange it so that all the paperwork when you're crossing borders gets done on the, on the uh, train itself. You don't have to, like, go through customs. Mm. So cool. The customs op- agents actually come on the train and do it while you're in yes. the ocean, which oh, is so great. So are you, you shopping yourself, or are you going to have someone do well, it for you? Because that's what's shooting in the morning. Oh, well. Oh, well. No, talk. I also like to shop. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you go on ahead then. Well, no, like we, we can do both. Yes. Well, um, we can do tribute shooting and, and tribute. Lady Cynthia says she's going to pack, which means she's going to tell her lady's maid to go pack. <laughs> <laughs> Since uh, Chekhov's shotgun was mentioned, um, yes, I will right. give you. <laughs> I'll give you a quick rundown of traveling armed in Europe. Oh my time. goodness! Uh, purchasing firearms in the UK is actually fairly um, uh, no, fairly hassle-free. In oh. fact, shotguns are not categorized as firearms at this time. Interesting. Yeah. Um, 
Like, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't say. It just says that they're not categorized as Sporting prior equipment. Artists. Right, exactly. Yes. It's exactly. like perfect. Yeah, like golf clubs, like right? You go into RBI and you Hockey stick. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know? Sure. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Purchasing. Um, Basically, anything except an automatic weapon. Mm -hmm. um, except even then, automatic weapons are not illegal. They're just not available on the open market. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. But yeah, in terms of packing, you know, your best bets are, are either handguns or uh, shotguns or rifles that you can break down. And those are usually hunting guns anyway. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Is this still raining? Yes, it is actually. It's January. I know, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Um, We're lucky it's not snowing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, let's see here. You know, obviously gun laws vary by country, so you may have issues with uh, firearms in your luggage. Hmm. However, if you have a firearm on your person, you're not going to be pat it down. They don't have like security checkpoints. Oh, so it's better to have your weapons on you rather than packed yeah. away. <laughs> that's, that's surprising. Yeah, it is. It's, it's very interesting. Yeah. So, um, you're going to be pulling through our stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So would it be okay to have a shotgun just slung over your shoulder? Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. say in Not your personal carry. trunk, <laughs> which is kept in your... You know, yeah. Uh, yeah, or just like a like a, In our a first class that you quarters. carry or something. Hidden under your valise that you're carrying that has a broken down shotgun in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, or Great. just a handgun on your person, you Indeed. know, in a holster. Yeah, I have two. There you go. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, the main the main thing to look out for is you're going you are going to be traveling through Italy, and uh, Il Duce is in charge there. Yeah. So that's right. They're not big fans of the bar out there right now. Nope. Just play it cool. All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, any any notable purchases then? We've got um, just plenty well, of ammo. Well, it's easy to buy a hunting shotgun, and uh, I think that might actually be an interesting purchase for uh, for Vance to make for you know going back to the states with yep. at the end of this. Oh, right. neat! And then you can practice with it. Exactly. Yeah. So what do you and so uh, I'll be buying some clothes and a shotgun. What kind of shotgun? Well, long way. Well, I'm, I would imagine if it's a shotgun, it's a semi-long barrel. See. Yeah, and the equipment guide had a pretty great breakdown of which ones were broken down. 16 gauge? Is that what it's called? I don't know, I know nothing about guys. Uh, 16 mm -hmm. gauge, I believe, is a smaller round. 12 gauge is the larger round. Oh, right. they are? The lower the number, the bigger the ball. Yeah. Oh. And the more powerful. So a 16 or 20 gauge is like a bird shot. Yeah. 12 gauge is buck shot. Right. Okay. Um, so could we bring two? No, that's pushing it, huh? With the winter Italy, especially. Just looking at uh, some options here. Hmm. Of course. Well, so you've course. got the, the greener F-35 Far Killer. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that, is a, that is a British shotgun. That sounds like a Vance Victorson kind of gun. Yes, it does. Yeah. Are you getting that? Maybe. Uh, that's, that's a very nice sound game shotgun. Yeah. What else do we have? Okay. Uh, you've got the uh, Harrington and Richardson model 1908, mm. uh, which is a single barrel. Of course. Then you've got the uh, Ithaca auto and burglar gun. Essentially, a double barrel break open hammerless shotgun sawn off at the factory. Whoa! Whoa. Wow. Well, it's not very ladylike. Probably didn't have that. Um, <laughs> then you've got the Ithaca hammerless field gun. Um, just another standard piece. And of course, is this available yet? Yes, the Remington Model 10 pump action. Hmm. Which is not a breakdown, of course. No, of course not. Uh, so which ones are breakdown? The uh, far killer, far killer, um, the uh, single barrel Harrington Richardson, or the Ithaca field gun. For posterity, Duncan has gone for the Winchester ninety four, which is breakdown. <laughs> nice. Just a sec. Yes. He, he has a rifle go. skill. So. Yeah, I think I'll go for the far killer. Okay. Excellent choice, sir. And they come in eight gauge, ten gauge, or twelve gauge. Uh, they also come in red, black, or blue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight gauge, please. Eight gauge. My goodness oh. gracious. Okay, you are you are serious. At some point, I hope to go to Africa. Of course, of course. 
Um, okay, so it, that'll run you three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five dollars. <laughs> well, I've got. Uh, let's see. Cash is. <laughs> this was available through large retailers such as Abercrombie and Fitch. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Before they're re- sadly no longer. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, sad. All right, so I can have them like send me a bill or something, or put down some sort of deposit. Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um. Basically, just have bit, put down a deposit and have my estate wire than the rest. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyone some stats on that bad boy? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So, of course, with the uh, shotguns, you have three damage brackets. Yep. So your range is on the is 15, 30, and 75. Oh, 15, 30, 75, okay. And your damage is 5d6, mm-hmm. 2d6 plus 2, and 1d10. Okay. Rate of fire is uh, two. Okay. Fire both barrels at once. Come on. Indeed. Capacity two. All right. Anything else? Malfunction. Zero zero. Lovely. Mm-hmm. I already had a sixteen gauge for Lady Cynthia. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. Lovely. All right, and Dottie, you're reading the paper. Pass that down, please. Oh. What does she say? <laughs> Man dies three times in one night. Oh wait, I passed you the wrong one. That was that. Put that in the file, though. Again. <laughs> yes. Again. I read this paper. Oh wait. Man disappears in a cloud of smoke. Spontaneous human combustion linked to triple murder case? Murder's case? Oh, mm-hmm. Police are today investigating the disappearance of Mr. Henry Stanley, 41, of Stoke Newington, who was reported missing last night by his landlady, Mrs. Constance Atkins. What was his name again? Mr. Henry, Henry, Stanley. Henry Stanley. She alleges that she heard a cry from Mr. Stanley's upstairs room at 8 o'clock. He did not answer to her knocking, and when she opened the door, the room was full of smoke and there was no sign of him. Hmm. Mr. Stanley is not married. He is a noted train enthusiast and member of the London Train Spotters Association. Oh. His disappearance oh. may be a cause of spontaneous human combustion. Wait, what paper am I reading? Is this the scoop? Of course. Oh. Uh, Police have refused to comment on this. Yeah, Mickey. How did that end so, up in your hands? <laughs> I don't know. I'm reading this. Police have refused to comment on this. It's on the seat next Similar year. cases. Yeah. yeah. Similar cases have been reported in England earlier this century. God, he's such an asshole. <laughs> the most recent known was that of Mr. J. Temple Thurston, who burned to death in his home in Dartford, Kent, in 1919. It has been revealed that a model train set found on the scene had been purchased last week from the shop of Mehmet Marriott. Mer- Marriott. Mar- 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 that child's toy may have caused the fire. Readers may recall that three bodies, all identified as Mr. Macarat, were later found earlier this week. Were found earlier this week in a Chelsea hotel room. Police have not ruled out the possibility of a link between the two cases. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. Well, interesting. We're on our way out of town already. Anyone else want to look at it? No. Into the files. So yep, that's Sunday morning's news of note. Oh, okay. uh, you're flying out Monday morning, so you have 24 hours. All right. Um, however, as we're getting close to our <coughs> wrap-up wrap time, yeah. we're going to leave that for next time. Okay. Uh, you guys can decide whether you want to follow that lead, just move right on to your plane flight, and uh, we'll be Paris bound one way or the other. Yay! All right. Lovely. Yes, indeed. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yay! One way you can say, fucking fantastic. <laughs> I have a 38 revolver for the record. 38 revolver. For the record show. Noted. I have a, was a Colt vest and one of those Smith and Wessons. Yes. That's why this guy. I've upgraded from my tiny character. Okay. Yeah, that's what I do. Well, since this is years ago. Oh, that was years ago. I wouldn't normally be a skin man. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I have to anything like Fido, I'd like to have it as large a gauge as possible. Oh, uh, yeah. That was something else. Just too. waiting for you to fire that thing for the first time. <laughs> just get like one <laughs> back. <laughs> With my size 50. Just yeah. Whoa. I'm pretty sure I've read that a gauge can like dislocate your shoulder and rock your yeah. yeah. It's got a real kick. Yep. Luckily, I have a firearm skill of 70, so. Oh, so you know to like, right. drop your center of grip. Mm-hmm. All that good stuff. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Well, that was a lot of excitement. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thank you for accommodating, by the way. No, no problem. You guys are basically at the end of the scenario, anyway. So. Perfect. Yeah, it worked out. Just as I predicted. Awesome. Oh, yes. Yeah.